What is up everyone? Welcome to the stream. My name is David Sinaero. We're back playing Genshin Impact after my prediction came true and I did the stream yesterday. It's pretty obvious. Got a lot going on. Genshin Impactor, that's me. I am a Genshin Impactor. How are you, Ruben? And the Melty? You cool. <clears throat> Isa. Pasta Sinian. I should have uh, come here and done commissions. Just to try to get you, Emiya. How's my holiday? Today? Today I didn't do much. Uh, but Sunday I... I did a Baywatch inspired photoshoot. On a, on a beach. You know by what? I'm not a big fan of Baywatch, but uh, the the look is very iconic, so it's a good photo shoot to to do. I think. And it was very fun. We had a, a quad bike, an ATV. Which is uh, hard to get, usually, because not a lot of people have one of those. more stuff outside my Patreon. I haven't paid a lot of attention to my social media. Where's your content? I, I post... I post on Patreon, just not anywhere else. <laughs> You're the only one who can't comply. Next thing, a Rompa photo shoot? I don't know, man. Making a lot of people uh, join their schedules is getting more and more tiring for me. Thank you. 
I'd love to do more Danganronpa though. You too. Or even other stuff. Uh, you know what I will always wanted to do? Um, something like Ghost in the Shell, where, uh, like, like that artwork of Ghost in the Shell, where she's all connected. It's kind of like Matrix, like a bunch of plugs on her back. By the way, I started watching uh, Dororo. One episode. Yukida. <laughs> there was no sex scene. They they fumbled it. But it looks very nice. Action seems good, animation on point. Which feels great after finishing Ski <laughs> I just needed a refresher. If things are going to be more connected and important. Take your nap, sir. Enjoy. Hey, I only tried, um... I watched what, uh, what was available. Can't, uh... Can't watch anything else. I'd love to play the game, if they made it available. Okay, my dude. I did your commission again. So, Ruben, how was your your holiday? Did you do anything fun?
What's here? Oh, yes. I'd love to use my resin, but I don't want to. I guess no achievements. felt about Inazuma is that it feels small. Because there's only really one city. Where did I get this? There's more dead islands than living islands. One island is abandoned because Tatarasna. Uh, the other is abandoned because Thunderbird died. The other is abandoned because Thunderbird killed it. Ekonomia is ghosted. Even what that to me doesn't have a real city, it's just it's a really small town with very few people. Um it's not really believable as a country, I guess. That's what I mean. Let's go see what uh, Neko is up to. You're here. Great timing. I have need of aid. What's the matter? Thanks to you, the shrine has been greatly improved, and we can expect the humans to return very soon indeed. I've been instructing the little ones to maintain a dignified bearing and not abase themselves before humans. Unfortunately, they're too used to running wild and will not listen to instruction. Nonetheless, I have a cunning plan. A cunning plan? When I was still very, very young, I too enjoyed flying everywhere. In an effort to bring me in line along with the other cats, Hibiki would make a most delicious dish. T delicious, you say? Whenever that meal was served, the cats would come running in from trees and rooftops alike. No matter how hot it was or how scalded our tongues got, we could not resist it. Hibiki would make a huge pot of it every time, and humans and cats would partake together. Even those who visited the shrine would get a share. Ah, but Tomeki, <laughs> that glutton, he would always eat so very much. A more undignified sight I've never seen. So, you want me to make you some food? Very good, your comprehension is excellent. Yes, I am asking you to make a dish. Not to doubt your wisdom. Do you really know how, to, how this dish would be made? Meow meow. Hmm? Is not leaving such matters to you the very point of this exercise? Must I do everything myself? Ah, but that dish was truly a thing of wonder. Even after wandering far off, or having spent years and years without it, I still remember its flavor. Well, the looks like this is a job for us, eh? It's for the shrine's sake, after all. What's in that meal? Of course I remember. Fish meat, animal meat, water-grown grass, and white rice. Oh, so that's... 
Fish, raw meat, seagrass and rice? Mm, how was it made then? I do not recall. Hmm, looks like we'll have to ask a chef. Sure, but where do we find a chef who knows how to make cat food? Hmm, let's ask Taisuke and Eiko, maybe they'll know what to do. They they gave Neko a voice, but she never speaks in cutscenes. Where are Taisuke and Eiko? Seiko, where should we go next? Phew, I think we'll rest for a while. Hmm, too, is there anything we can do for you? You need to find the reliable chef. You're looking for a chef on Serai Island? Well, here's the thing. Neko would like us to... So Lady Neko wants you to prepare some food, is that right? Ah, darn it. If only I had some skill in cooking. In other words, you'd like a chef who can help you figure out how to make something a cat would like out of these ingredients, right? Let me think. A chef, a chef... Well, why don't you try going to Inazuma City and looking for Kiminami Anna at the Kiminami restaurant? She's a very nice person and she's good at cooking as well. She should be able to help you out. Thanks. We'll go look for her. No need to thank us. Off you go, then. Taisuke and I still need to lay some plans for future exploration. <laughs> Well, I hope that this shrine really does thrive. Otherwise, the hard work that you and Neko put into fixing it might go to waste. Hello, welcome to Kiminami Restaurant. Would you like something? Hello, oh, it's you, Miss Kamizato's friend. Come in, come in, what can I help you with? So, I need to make Neko a meal. Neko? Might that be a cat's name by any chance? You know who Neko is? No, I just thought there was a fitting name for a cat. Yes, because it means cat. There's some strong intuition you've got there. Never mind that for now, this is how it happened. There's an Azaze shrine on Serra Island, and that shrine is home to a talking cat? And that cat asks you to make it a meal? Is, is that really true? I've never heard of such a thing. Hmm, you can go have a look yourself. Serra Island, was it? I'll go there for sure if I get the chance. Uh, so... about Neko's meal. Ah, right, I nearly forgot about that. Let me think. Mmm, a dish that a cat would enjoy, huh? Is it gonna be difficult? Mm. It's going to be difficult, isn't it? This is a challenge to the Kiminami family name. I'm going to overcome it, no matter what. Now then, I believe that fish, raw meat, seagrass and rice will make for a dish that even cats will fall over themselves to get a taste of. Leave it to me, traveler. Paimon wants some too. Mm, we'll leave it in your hands then. No problem. Let me consider how I'm going to structure this recipe. In the meantime, help me prepare three servings of sea grass. You got it. It'll be in your hands then. Just uh, three servings will do. Once you find them, come back and give them to me. How is it? Have you found the three servings of sea grass yet? Great, give me a moment. I think I, think I know what to do now. Done. 
Ooh, that smells awesome. Paimon really wants to try some. What shall we call this? Mmm, since it's for a talking cat, let's call this the invigorating kitty meal. Well then, here's your dish to go. And yes, let me write the recipe down for you as well. Ooh, Gethlumine made kitty meals are on the menu in the near future. What are you, Paimon? A cat? Hey, that's rude. Good food is a universal language, don't you know? Anyway, thanks a bunch, Miski Minami. It's alright, don't worry. Just take this meal and our recipe as a present for Neko. I'll be sure to head down to that Azade Shrine to pay her a visit once I find the time. Alright, off you go now. Don't keep Neko waiting. People should be happy cats don't talk. They'd be rude as fuck. Monday. What day is it today? Monday. I really don't want to waste a lot of time doing this, but let's just go. Currently unable to enter another player's world? Oh. Why is my go off blocked? Is it Neko? It is. Weird. Good smell! You've done it then? That we have! Yummy yeah, yeah, wonderful! Well, let me have a taste! <laughs> it's somewhat different from how Ibiki used to make it. it. It should be pretty good. Come on, let's have a go at it! Ooh, this is great! Yeah. Is Neko unhappy that it tastes different from how this Ibiki person used to make it? It's very good. You are most reliable indeed. Glad you enjoyed it. It is quite different from how Ibiki used to make it, yes. When I ate it, the feeling it gave me was the same as the feeling of eating together with Ibiki. Why is this so, human? Are you humans capable of some strange magic? It's just been a while since someone made you food. Still, you have my thanks. Long years it has been since it I last tasted something this good. The little ones will love it as well. Could you please bring this meal to them as well? Since I enjoy it, they should too. Perhaps they will be more obedient after eating such a wonderful meal. Ah... Uh. Really? Now there, there's something I really dislike. We need to go somewhere, and then they ask you for food, and there's no place to cook it. So you need to go travel somewhere else again. And then come back. This uses four fish. Can I buy fish? still need to go buy it.
Not here, obviously, but I'll take the rocks. Oh, uh, what? Let me see if there's a store that sells this. Well, there's probably a food store somewhere. Yeah, we haven't been to Leeway in a while here. Have we? No fish. This guy's advertising fish. Nope. Is there no general? Food store here. Like this. Oh, there it is. It's that one. Maybe it was the one main restaurant? No, no fish? Damn. I'd have caught fish already, but whatever. Now I'm committed to not catching them. I don't even need to buy it. There's NPCs that give me fish. First time I talk to them. point we lost that uh, the tendency of talking to every single NPC in, in, a, in an RPG I guess because they became more and more right because usually it wasn't that many hey he's not here Daytime, thanks.
これほど美しき景色を見ればおのずと旅が。Thanks. There are plenty of stores that sell it though. But since I can get it for free, I shall. Last one is in Rito. Gives me ten fish. Ten whole fish. You go. Let's cook those meals and go back to Neko. There you go. Eat and shut the fuck up. You go. As if, as if I had just given them a fish tail. brought a meal to those little ones. They absolutely loved it. Is that so? Wonderful, wonderful. Meow meow. It has been too long since I hate something so wondrous. Meow meow meow. I thought, though now I need neither food nor water, the taste of a meal with rice is always too great a temptation. That little one was named Meshi, precisely because that is the best thing I could think of in all the world. So, what was the name of the dish that Ibiki would make? The name. Dishes need names. This one's called the Invigorating Kitty Meal, you know. What a complicated name. Still, I do not hate it. Yeah, talking cat. Huben, I, I was asking you, how was your holiday? How did it... Uh, did you do anything fun? 
You are right, meals are good things, and all good things should have names. Meow meow, I will ask Kibiki when she returns. You can make her your dish then too. And she will make you hers, then you shall be able to eat two different yet delicious dishes. Indeed, that is all the more reason for me to restore this shrine. When Ibiki returns, we shall all eat together. Thank you. This is most delicious. Meow meow. So, anyway, oh, what, uh, what are you watching? Oh, red fog. Oh, you're watching Fate Zero or Stay Night? Nice, nice. Which one did you start with? Zero? Nice. Good stuff. I hope you enjoy. How many episodes have you watched already? Okay, that's very that's very far along already. Are you liking it? Nice, nice. Yay. Sky alive? Why? What? It's water enemies. Why are you bringing a an hydro character? People are weird. Physical DPS CLN. That's something. Maybe that is the meta, and I just have, have no idea, but I doubt it. I really, really doubt it. Oh. 
Might as well have brought my Kazuma. Oh, my alarm. My stream alarm. It's a bad time for me to go. Turn it off. Someone left. Okay. Yes. Ban it. Want? I have no idea what you're trying to say, sir. Thank <laughs> you. 
Que lance. No one leave. Good. Nice, I got them both. That's exactly what I expect out of a Bennett user. Emotes? I don't think so. Hey. 
walls. What is Ayaka doing? Is Ayaka just participating? Not getting any rewards? What the fuck? Then I am out as well. I will at least make these. on their own. They don't they get it. They'll get it. I want to believe. Sky, how do things turn out like this? Well, we intervened, didn't we? Ninety six percent. Well, I doubt there's a lot to do. <sighs> Beto is your wife home? That was a fast nap. Are you all napped out already?
Just did that one. Can I make enough purples? Same shit here.
points. Okay, good. Uh, let's uh, keep going. Let's... a lot of stars. Where exactly? <laughs> Hello Shonen, how are you? <laughs> I am good, I am good. I mean, all of it, I, I realize that all of it has a lot of stars, so maybe it just mean in general. Yeah, I'm doing good. How goes it with you? Okay. Let's just do the quest instead of looking at the menu. Bunch of stars and all these items. The gems, crystals also have stars. Um, to be honest, I don't know. But let me check. They do. Yes. Even if they didn't, uh, the color of the background is different for every um, rarity. But yes. I guess everything has stars. Even meals. Oh wait, these fruits do not have a star. They're so basic, there's zero stars. And I guess the shit you pick up from the floor doesn't have stars either. Books. My suit that I tailored a while back still fits, and I'm getting updates from my little sister about my older sister's wedding woes. Wedding woes? That's not... That's not something you want to hear. Is it uh, jitters? Is it jitters that people say? When you're, uh, like, starting to feel doubt. Well, it seems to be mother-in-law is a little overbearing. Oh. Oh, everyone loves the mother-in-law, right? Hello, Echo, how are you? Wait, why am I fighting these guys? Fuck them. that by the door what door oh. really decent waiting on HR to pull my teaching tutor application for my bosses nice is it going to be do you have a prediction or are you just waiting forever When's the wedding, Shonen? 
Hey, come on, what are you doing here? You should probably leave this island. The situation is rather grim. Yeah, this guy's looking all strange and stuff. This Tsurumi Island is about to be destroyed, and then everything will start again. Ah, that's the thing that you talked about yesterday. However, it seems that things are even more serious than when I came here previously. Perhaps it's because you destroyed those perches. The name of the child you're trying to help. It's Rue, right? We want to break the cycle and free Rue. Now is the time. That's why I'm here, to help. Did Miss Sumida ask you to do it? No. I've come here of my own accord. What? You're volunteering, Kama? I don't know why either. I just feel like I should be here. How should I describe that feeling? Oh, right. It's like this. Perhaps I simply find it intolerably shameless for me to play the fly on the wall as you bold boldly step into Tsurumi Island. <clears throat> Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks, you're getting a lot of food. <laughs> hey, and uh, it's your sister's wedding, so you probably get, like, boxes of food to keep for the rest of the month. No? no that's nice. HR is super slow, department chair might coerce the speed of it. Okay. Oh. Is it a public institution? Perhaps I believe that even illusions have feelings, and so I would do ill in allowing them to suffer in this cycle. Or perhaps I simply think that I might help Rue by breaking this perpetual ocean of fog, that in fulfilling the wishes of my ancestors, I shall be freed from the history that binds me. Kama, since when were you so eloquent and loquacious? So much like a night light novelist. Those were Miss Sumida's words, weren't they? Yes, Lady Sumida did speak these words. When I told her that I would like to help, she suddenly gained a spark of inspiration. I did not understand what she said, but I believe that since Lady Sumida said so, then that must be how things are. I believe so, it's a community college? Okay, okay. Yeah, public institutions, at least in Portugal, are uh, slower, for sure. That sounds like your style, well, right. Still, Paimon thinks yesterday's events have probably made Rue too angry to talk to us. I know. Lady Sumida said that in this manner, the bloodline spanning millennia, millennia shall... Can we lose the verbatim quotes, get to the point? We shall. I believe that Kama, that is to say I, can speak to him. Hmm? Well, there is a very strong resemblance, yes. Rude did also mention that being unable to speak to those illusions weirded him out and worried him. So being able to talk to you should cheer him right up. But where do we find Rude? You know, he did mention there's a few places the storm doesn't touch. Oh, you're right! Wakukao, Oina, and Autake. He did mention that these places wouldn't be hit by lightning under these circumstances. Those would be his hiding spots, where he'd wait out the storm. Well, let's go looking then. Let's start with Wakukao Shou. Kama seems pretty enthusiastic today, eh? That lifted the fog right up, like, like immediately. I forgot about the the red sky. I'm glad I'm doing this again.
Where is this place? I need to try to get some crystals for the Amayumi. Amayumi, if I get Yoimi, uh, the uh, the the claim, or if I get the, uh, I don't get Yoimi. I guess there are no new chests today. Hey, don't hit me. Uh, so the storm really doesn't reach this place. Paimon doesn't see Rue anywhere either. Rue. Come on, Kama. You try. Alright. Uh, no, no, not like that. We're looking for something more like Rue. It's Kama. Where are you? Rule, it's Kama, where are you? Still no response. Oh, Paimon's getting worried. Still, why is there no thunder or lightning here? Hmm... Well, since it was the Thunderbird that destroyed Surumi Island, we could try using the power of the feather. Yeah, that's worth a try. Since Rue said it's one of the Thunderbird's feathers, we might get some reaction. What? It spawned enemies. glad this game first came out in the period when I was taking a break with anime and video games. This game would have a direct vacuum to my wallet. <laughs> I mean, you don't need to spend money in it. I know me, I would have spent money. Well, I spend a little. Mostly the... Um, there's like five, five bucks. Uh, stuff monthly, and you get a bunch of crap. And uh, and the battle pass, which is like 10. So, what's this? Looks like a feather, 
touch it. Oh, be careful. Uh, Lumine, hey, Lumine. What happened? That was close, you were just frozen to the spot back there. No, it flew away. What happened? Paimon was worried sick, you know. Seems that I was drawn into the Thunderbird's memories. Hey, the Thunderbird? The same one that destroyed Tsurumi Island? I can't be sure. There's no way to establish that at the moment. If that's the case, it's just like Lady Sumida said. The will of the Thunderbird will resurface. In that case, the voice that we heard during the battle. Hmm... Might have been the Thunderbird. Paimon's very curious now. It's almost like the Thunderbird was looking for someone. Still, that feather sure did bring about some kind of reaction, huh? Yes, I saw you take out a strange feather earlier. Where did you get that? Well, this is how it went. So the feathers of the Thunderbird were the basis for the Maoshiro and can summon spirits. I was told these legends by my grandfather as he taught me how to make those Maoshiro. Oh, so you can make them, huh? Then, couldn't you just have made one for Lady, uh... Sumida? Well, because Lady Sumida did not ask. But if I should have the chance to help her in the future, I will mention this matter. Greetings, Mint. Still alive, I see. Still, what shall we do next? The direction in which the feather flew away doesn't quite match up with Oina Beach or Atoke Plains. Tsurumi Island is in a lot of danger. We haven't much time. Yep, Rue said and Rue said that things get real wild when the thunder starts coming down. Well, let's forget about the feather's whereabouts for now. We gotta get to the other spots where there's no thunder and look for Rue there. Alright then, next stop, Oina Beach. As long as we can talk to him, there's hope. Yeah, I'm good, I'm good. I was very sad yesterday when I maxed out the Sakura tree before... <laughs> way before finishing Tsurumi or Enkonomiya. Because <laughs> I wanted to rub that in your face. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Good luck with what? It's done. I, 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 did, I did it already. One hundred percent in uh, all islands. No, you don't need to do that. To max out the Sakura tree. I'm a, I'm a 96% on Tsurumi. No, no, no. I'm not going to bother with that. I'm just doing what I can find organically. You need Electropolis? Ah, oh, I thought you had them all mixed. I'm only missing four. Fuck.
You're missing a hit. Damn. <laughs> All right, challenge. Fuck you, too. So my alt account has more, more electrocles than Smith on his main account. <laughs> What a noob. <laughs> that shit damage. Of course, I haven't farmed a single day of my life. It's like you're not a collector weirdo. Exactly. It's a great damage for someone who has never farmed the day of his life in the in this account. Damage when I get Zhong Li. I can't wait. By the way, I, I don't think uh, I told you, Smith, but uh, Tainari is going to be added to the standard banner. He's not a limited event character. Yeah. They really need to add Albedo to it as well. Think. Then it's one character of each element. This feather is just like the last one. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Touch the feather. Don't worry, I'm on will watch over you. We chased the monsters away. Ah, well, I mean you're back. Last few days, tearing us back. Don't want to do shit when I get home. Yeah, that's understandable. Have you been uh, going to the workplace? I mean you're back. Yes. Very understandable, then. This one flew away too. Tomorrow's the last day after that, just on the 30th. 
Oh, okay, cool. Doesn't look like Ruz here either. I had a medieval fair around here. I just stayed home. But I did do a photo shoot yesterday, uh, themed around uh, Baywatch, the TV show. That was fun. Feather's target seems to have been the mountain at the center of the island. Kama, do you know anything about that mountain? Mount Kana. It was where the Thunderbird reposed. I was the girl. No, I was the ATB. That place is in fact a hollow cavern from which the Thunderbird would take off into the skies like a violet meteor that could be seen even through the fog. It was said that by the people of Tsurumi Island that the Thunderbird dispersed that mysterious fog to protect the island. It's not what happened. It conflicts with what I saw in those memories. Okay. So you're saying... You relate the memories that came to you when you touched the feather. He got jokes. <laughs> that was this fog... That this fog wasn't created by the Thunderbird? Perhaps our ancestors were wrong. Well, well, that's understandable, considering that you can barely see the sun or the moon from down here. Maybe the Thunderbird's light was the only light they'd ever see. Speaking of your ancestors... Ah, that's right. We saw someone who looked like an ancient version of you, Kama. Here's what went down. We'll talk about Sayo and Kama from earlier. That's what happened. They seem to be pretty friendly with Ru. Mmm... That may truly have been my ancestor. So did the ancient Kama meet Sayo after leaving Tsurumi Island? The records don't say anything about that. Uh... Well, well, where shall we go next? We did actually have an ATV for the photo shoot. Uh, the Otake Plains, I think. Yeah, we've been here. Th we've we've been there before too. Well then, let's go. Um, we had a, a red ATV. The red uh, swimsuits with the with the symbol. I can, I can. Uh, the, like the the boy shaped like a missile, you know. Um, and there was also a surfboard, but I didn't I didn't take many photos of it because I, I didn't think it fit the theme that much. <laughs> They're not exactly surfers, they're lifeguards. But it was there, if people wanted to use it. Mm -hmm. I don't know if any... Can I, I can show you photos from other people, right? Because mine are still on the camera. <laughs> this is the last possible location. Rue! Yeah, it's public. Rue, we're here to help. Rue? Rue? Eh? What's that weird noise? Yikes! Monsters, be careful! Owl? Where did that come from? Yeah. 
Oh mean, I'm on. Didn't I tell you not to come here anymore? It's good to see that you are all right. This place is super dangerous. There's thunder and lightning everywhere, and if you get struck by lightning, you'll get hurt. And I don't know why, but it looks like the storm is getting scarier than before. It must be because you hurt that perch. Why did you come back? Rule. We brought Kama to see you. Kama? Come back. Tadaima. Big brother Kama, is that really you? Hey. Wait, are you an illusion too? Kama? Oh, Lady Sumida told me to say this. Come on, this isn't the time for tricks. Uh, sorry. The Kama you knew led a full life after leaving Tsurumi Island. His greatest regret was not being able to help you. I'm a descendant of this. Lumine, Paimon, and I are here to help you. Descendant? Are you his son, then? I'm afraid you're quite a few generations off. Wait, I don't get it. Descendants, does that mean that Big Brother Kama is no longer around? It's been a long time, you know. What happened to him after he left? I waited for so, so long until Tsurumi Island started looking like this, but he and Big Sister Sayo never returned. I've been so worried. <coughs> well, I do know a little about what happened to the Kama you knew. If you'd like to listen, I could tell you. That would be great. So many things happen in the outside world, huh? I never knew that the world beyond the fog was so big, or that it had so many people. The unchanging nature of Tsurumi Island is the abnormal thing here. Yep, and that's why we're here to help. Help. Will you destroy the perches and make the pots here angry? If the ceremony goes smoothly and she accepts me and our sacrifice, then everything will be fine again. That may not be what the Thunderbird wants. How would you know, Lumine? You haven't met Kapatz here. She hasn't come back in so long. She must be hangry. I can't say this for sure, but... Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. Could be a feather here. Curious tunes, tiny human. Afraid not of thunder and storms. Eh? Is this the first time I met Kapatz here? The adults in the village all said that I can bring peace to thunder and storms. Ah, uh, this memory is clearer than before. Is that because Rue is here? I was too embarrassed to sing in the village, so I came here to practice. Do you like it? <laughs> Before you humans learned to make fire, the thundering storm had already swept across the ocean alongside me. With but a flap of my wings, purple lightning will tear through the clouds like serpents. My cry shakes the ocean depths and the heart of the earth. I have heard the songs of the trees, the strains of the cloud and rain, and the melodies sung by the blue flying dragon of the far north. I've heard every trembling chorus of fox and rabbit and warm and warm as I descended upon the land. But your song is special. It is different from that of the boar, the fish, and the when come we. You're speaking all funny. I don't get it. But I guess you like my song then? I do not know. I only know that I have never heard it before. 
Well then, I shall sing you another tune when you come again with thunder and rain. Your lives are fragile and puny. Perhaps you shall already have turned to dust before I remember this matter. But if you have not, then you shall sing for me again. Everything you say is so complicated. Oh yes, my name is Rue. What's yours? Everyone in the village calls you Great Thunderbird, but you must have a name, right? A name. Well, that is, what should I call you? I mean, if I want to sing for you again, and I call out to you, what shall I call out? I do not know. She gave me a name long ago, but I have forgotten it. I do not need such things, nor have any dare to summon me thusly. Well, how about this, then? Dad, I mean Grandpa Mata, taught me a few new words in the Ishin script today. Let me try using them to give you a name. <coughs> mm, uh, oh, this should do. So I gave her the name Kana Kapatsir. <coughs> Let's name you Kana Kapatsir, then. Great Eagle of the Storm. Ridiculous. Still, it matters not to me. Let's decide it then. I need to get back now, or the adults will worry. I'll definitely sing for you again. Huh. Perhaps I shall forget you immediately, Rue. Well, I won't forget. See you. Ah, it flew away. It flew off to Mount Kana. Are those Kapatsir's memories? Sundere Rocks Society was a mistake. No, no, no. There, there was a giant bird. But it's not visible on the memory. It wasn't the rock talking. <laughs> Sundari birds isn't much better. It's like a god bird, but sure. Hmm. <clears throat> Are those Kapatsir's memories? Hmm, they should be. She always remembered you. Well, you did give her a name after all. She also remembered my promise to sing for her again. But... But if that's the case, why did everyone become like this? Why did the village become like this? Did we anger Kapatsir by not performing the ceremony correctly? I don't think that's what the Thunderbird was mad about. I see, I understand now, more or less. Well then, I suppose our next stop is Mount Kana. But that's the sacred ground, we can't set foot there. Lumine, Paimon, you've already come around three times and yet things haven't gotten better. Well, you know, the one who talked about the rule of three. Good omens must occur three times for good fortune to truly descend. And you must forge past obstacles three times to succeed on the fourth. You know what? Paimon still thinks this should be called the rule of four instead. Ah, maybe you're right, Paimon. True. You've already met with three difficulties, Lumine, Paimon, that we have. Alright, I believe you. And since Kama, I mean Kama's descendant, are also has also returned, this must mean that good things are in store for us. But if nothing good happens, I'll be very, very mad, you hear? Of course, let's go then. I'm gonna try this shit again. Stop! 
Much better, much, much better. Give this man a real challenge, you had like 10 seconds to spare. Yeah, but I failed that the first time I tried. It's all about whether your special attacks are ready or not. And mine were all almost all ready. <clears throat> Another monster? Looks like the one we saw in Ama Kumo Peak. Oh no, it's a Thunder Manifestation? I forgot about all this. Whoa. I bet this counts as a challenge though. Hey, 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 no, 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 no. Let me eat. I'm sure this isn't even giving me any rewards. Oh.
Oh. Well, that's finally over. Poo. I'm on a really broke a sweat back there. Uh-huh, and you're doing the fighting, eh? Well, come on. Paimon's bones are getting all clammy watching you fight. Wow, I saw everything. That was so cool, I mean. So cool. Can't <laughs> do this all the time. You truly were impressive. That was very eye-opening. Um, Paimon's still concerned about something. Why would there be this sort of monster here? We fought one before back on Amakumo Peak. Yeah, Paimon remembers that one too, but... We seem to be forgetting something important. The feather. Oh, that's right. What's this got to do with feathers? So earlier, we took a commission from the Adventurers Guild and went to Serai Island to investigate. You recount what happened. A talking cat? Wow, a talking cat? Really? Now, that's not the main point. So, while we were investigating Amakumo Peak, we defeated a monster just like this one, after which we got this special feather. Oh, so that's where you got your Thunderbird feather, Lumine. That means that the Thunder Manifestations that appeared here and on Amakumo Peak must have something to do with the Thunderbird. If Sumino were here, she'd say something like... This sounds like good foreshadowing material. Heh, <laughs> funny. You don't look like you found it funny, Kama. No, no, I did find it quite amusing. Still, Paimon thinks that we've got a good picture of what's going on now, Elamine. Mean. Well, almost, but let's be extra sure. That said, Paimon thinks we've more or less got it already. Let's use the Thunderbird Feather we got on Amakumo Peak. Since you have allowed this one and only song to flow in blood onto this earth. Then until I, Kanakapatsir, hear that human ruse song once more, may these lands fall under an eternal catastrophe. So that's what happened. It's as I thought. Uh, so that's what happened, and here I thought... I thought Kapatsia had forgotten all this. I thought that this happened because she didn't approve of the ceremony. Because she didn't like me. Well, she didn't approve of the ceremony. That is, that much is correct. You said that she was your friend. Friends don't forget their friends' words that easily. She's been waiting for you to sing for her all this time. Yes, you're right. I did tell her that I would sing for her. But I haven't seen her in an awful long time now. Should we tell him, you know, that the Thunderbird was killed on Sedai Island? Hmm... How should we put this? Um, so, Rue... The Thunderbird has migrated to Sedai Island. Uh, yeah, that's right. Didn't we tell you before that we saw this huge storm cloud and the shattered mountain on Sedai Island? That's where the Thunderbird lives now, you know. Uh, we wanted to go up to Amakumo Peak to see the awesome face of the great Thunderbird. But the Thunderbird was super busy. That's right, and she's had lots of baby Thunderbirds too. They're all up in the clouds right now, though. And they don't come down much. Baby Thunderbirds? So there's this vortex-like storm cloud over Sarai Island. Yeah, that's formed by Kapatsir and the little Thunderbirds as they play and fly in circles. <laughs> well, that's amazing. I mean, I've never seen it with my own eyes, but it already sounds unbelievably amazing. Kapatsir must have been even mightier than I imagined. And we did say before that we'd go outside on adventures together, didn't we? Yes, I remember. <coughs> you did say that we'd go see other places, Lumine. Wanna go sing for Kapatsir? Even if she's busy and you can't see her? Wow, could I really? 
Of course you can. It was our agreement. Awesome. I've tried leaving Tsurumi Island before and I always end up back here again. Okay, um, that is a bit of a problem. There has to be a way. Let's discuss the matter. Someone would like to ask Kama some things as well. Hang on a sec, Ru. Hmm? Alright. Kama. What is it? Were you about to say that Thunderbird is dead or something? What? No, I was going to talk about a story that Lady Sumida told me. Who do you take me for? Seriously, how could I tell a child like Rue such a thing? Uh, come on, Paimon, have a little faith. But Paimon was just... well... Ah, uh, enough already. So about getting Rue off Tsurumi Island. He says that he can't leave this place. Perhaps Surumi Island sustains his existence in some way. If that's the case, from what we've learned so far, the strange happenings on Surumi Island were caused by the Thunderbird destroying it. It feels like we can follow this line of reasoning to find a solution. We could use the Thunderbird's feathers. Huh? If Paimon gets what you're trying to say, Lumine. If the state of Tsurumi Island now is due to leyline disorders, caused by the Thunderbird's power, and this feather, which also has the same power, might be able to sustain Rue's existence. Are we on the same page? Not precisely, but let's go with your idea, Paimon. <clears throat> you know what? I think you'd get along with Lady Sumida just fine. Uh, Paimon's not sure if you're complimenting us or... Well, they do go on rants. She told me a story once, about a god of fertility who dwelt within the wheat fields, and who would travel afar with a human. Kama doesn't want to be mean or anything, but you're picking up her habit of going off topic, Kama. Whatever the case, since we've decided what to do, let's just give it a try. It's better than nothing, after all. Agreed. Well, if you don't mind, I shan't accompany you on this particular trip. I'd like to take this opportunity to have a look at the place where my ancestors once stayed. But it's storming outside. I know. I'll be fine. Don't worry. I mean, we live in Inazuma. Stormy days are our bread and butter. Well, that is true. You're back. Ready to go? Yep, anytime. Well then, touch this Thunderbird feather first. For good luck? Sure. And now we're off to Sarah Island. Let's go, this is great, I'm going on an adventure with you. This is closed off. This is the world outside the Sea of Fog. Sorry, Lumine. It's really great being out here. My eyes are getting... There, that's that's the that's Amakumo Peak, the Thunderbird's territory. That's right, the Thunderbird. Kapatir's up there in the sky. She's a little busy and can't come down to hear you sing, but if you do, Paimon, sure she'll hear you. Mm hmm. Lumine, Paimon. Actually, I know all about it. Or should I say, I've guessed what happened to Kapatir and to me. 
Huh? Well, Ru, we... No, it's alright. I'm so glad I got to know you. I mean, you even got me off Tsurumi Island to see the world outside. I could never have imagined that I could do this in the past. You're both really awesome. <clears throat> the clouds in the sky, the super special grass and rocks up in the air. These were all Kapatsu's doing, right? She's so cool, too. Even the air smells different. I mean, I'm not used to it, but it's amazing. Well then, the weather's not the same anymore, but I've come to sing you a song, Kapatsu. I sure haven't sung in a long time. That was great. I'm sure Kapatsia heard me too. I'm sure she did. Let's head back then. I'd like to send this feather back to Kapatsia's home. storyline of this island. strange. I've only been away for a while, but it feels like it's been ages. I'm back, and so is Kapatsir. here. so beautiful. If only I could have seen such sights together with everyone. Uh, but I'm happy just to be able to do it with you two. Still the world beyond the fog is amazing. I never knew the sky was so high up or so large. I wonder what the places Kama went to were like. You can go see those places. That's right, the outside world is a really big place. We've met lots of interesting and nice people along the way, too. We'll hit it off with them in no time. There's loads and loads of awesome food, too. Sweet Madame Zalvon Tofu. Sticky honey roasts. Oh, Sweet Madame sound like they'd be great. That's right. We've had a ton of those in our journey, haven't we, Lumine? Oh, yeah. We also met a certain tone-deaf bard during our journey. He loves music, too. I'm sure you two would be the best of friends. Maybe you'll even perform together in Mondstadt City Square. And, and, we can take you on adventures. Lumine's a real ace at that. We'll go to all sorts of places like the super high up Wangshu Inn. There's also the Grand Arakami Shrine, which is way up high too, and has a big tree that looks like a kitsune. And we can go to Sangonomiya Shrine on Watatsumi Island. That place looks like something out of a dream. Yep, I know. And I'd love to follow you all outside as well. Huh? Thank you, Lumine. 
Paimon. It's all thanks to you that I was able to fulfill my promise with Kapatz here, and I guess everyone doesn't look all weird anymore. I'm sorry. I thought that you'd broken the purchase and I blamed you for that, even though you're both good people. It's alright, we've been on lots of adventures and got ourselves into a ton of misunderstandings. Don't take it to heart. And even if you don't want to travel with us, we've got friends who'll take care of you. We know a young lady your age in Mondstadt's Knights of Pavonius. So please leave Tsurumi Island with us, Ro. I, when we went to Serna Island to sing for Kapatz here, I could feel that a piece of me was in that feather. That's why I'd like you to take that feather of hers on your travels. This way I can travel with the two of you as well. We'll even bring Kapatz here with us too. We'll go see the outside world and we'll hear what songs they have to sing. But... I'm on. Yep, you don't have to worry about me. It was great going outside, but it was real tiring too. I'd like to rest for a bit. You can go on ahead first. Oh, that's right. Could you please thank Big Brother Kama for me? We will. See you around. Yep, let's meet again. We'll definitely meet again. Everything's better now, and it's all thanks to you two. I, I'm truly blessed to have had the chance to call you both my friends. I wish I could join you on your journey, but I'm really tired right now. I need to sleep, so please go on ahead. I'll just be resting here for a while. We'll meet again someday for sure. This really was such a nice story though. And self-contained, which I really like, too. <laughs> you know what? The story is even more bizarre than the plot of the Chronicles of the Sea of Fog working title. Also, stop calling me Lady this and Lady that already. You're an important friend of mine. Uh, understood, Lady Sumida. Oh, come on. Should I call you a... Should I call you a pedant for the ages, or... Hello there. Oh my, oh my. It's the legendary Lumine. And Paimon is the legendary Paimon. Uh, funny. Shouldn't she make some retort at this juncture? This feels like we're departing from her character profile somehow. Finally, Dragon Spider 100%? Damn! <laughs> Finally, indeed. Character profile? Basically, that's what we call a combination of image traits and uh, history. Characters must adhere to the behavior prescribed in their profiles or they will seem, well, out of character. Three blocks of ice, three chests. You just got 100%? That means you're still missing stuff, though. <laughs> People aren't machines, you know. Seriously, what's your problem? Have some consideration for the feelings of others, please. S sorry. So, what about Rue? Rue says he's thankful to you. Is that so? I see. Wait, what happened? Why am I the only person who seems out of the loop here? Ah, uh, never mind. Let's not stand around here. A change of scenery is in order, I think. 
How about Kiminami Restaurant? I agree to take Paimon out for a good meal. Sure, I'll pay. Consider the street courtesy of a future contracted writer with the A Publishing House and the winner of the this novel is amazing grand prize. Man, I forgot how much I love the Tsurumi Island. And I don't think I don't think I ever met anyone that didn't complain about the structure of the story. Like having to do it four times and over different days. But I really, really love it. Yeah. Inazuma really raised the bar. I can't wait to see what uh, Sumeru is like. Well then, anything you want to eat? Don't be shy now. You too, Kama. As for me, I'll start with a dry flavored skewer. Thank you, Miss Sumida. That's no problem. I've been troubling you all this time after all. The commission has been successfully completed. Indeed, I'd say the results far surpass my expectations. I'd only wanted to get one Mashiro at first, to use as reference for my writing. But thanks to your perseverance, I not only got that, but also the story of the Sea of Fog and of the millennia spanning wait for a young lad on Surumi Island. Of a young lad. Ah, if my writing was better, the story would win me that this novel is amazing grand prize for sure. But Kama's also changed quite a bit. I'd say these are all... Far more important than the completion of the Chronicles of the Sea of Fog working title. We've also met some important friends. We didn't have a chance to travel with Rue, but like he said, we'll definitely meet again. He'll keep his word. Yep, I'm unsure he will. After all, he waited for so long just to keep his other promise. Well then, Miss Sumida, when will we get to read the Chronicles of the Sea of Fog? Well, this, uh, I decided to stop writing it for now. Wait, what? But we worked so hard to... Ah, uh, no, it's not an issue with you. Please don't misunderstand. I wish to go traveling next. To gather more reference material? I... I learned something very important during this commission. In the years prior to this, I lived only to create and write. I learned fishing from Kujirai to write about a character who fishes for a living. His character profile was that of a masterful warrior who secluded himself in a fishing village and lived a peaceful life there until... <clears throat> uh, right, sorry. I almost went off topic again. So in order to better describe parties conducting illicit activities under a fictional national lockdown, Kama and I created a smuggling network that bypassed the Outlander Affairs Agency. Uh, that's actually really impressive. Well, it was mostly Kama's doing. And we discarded that work due to a writing bottleneck, which eventually resulted in the collapse of that network. I've always been like this. I stopped fishing because I stopped writing that fisherman character. I went to Apprentice at the Grand Narugami Shrine because I wanted to write about a Shrine Maiden's work. But I understand now that I cannot just live, learn, travel, and adventure for the sake of writing novels. I must live, learn, travel, adventure, and extract stories from there from which I shall write novels. Kama was not born as the last son of Tsurumi Island for the sake of a story, nor did Rue stay in the Sea of Fog for so many years to be featured in a tale. That's not why the two of you adventure and travel either, right? When I heard Miss Catherine describe your adventures, I thought to myself that you're just like the main character Kino in Kino's Travels and their companion Ermos. The only difference is that no one has written your story you are the story itself. A pair of outlanders who don't quite fit anywhere, whose names are Lumine and Paimon. They stride across many strange lands and meet all sorts of people. They are drawn into all kinds of wicked plots and all manner of cruel wars, and each one of their adventures shall coalesce into shining gold. As Paimon has mentioned before, such a blurb would definitely suit you too. 
and such aside from asking you two to help me gather reference material, I also wanted to understand you more, so that I might find the seeds of a story in the future. And I think I've found it. The seeds of a story are to be found in life, and one's travels. And not in the character profiles, flowcharts, setting maps, and definitely not in things that you learn just to learn how to write them. As such, I've decided to stop writing and start traveling. Until the time comes when the story begins to sprout, and then I'll have an easy win in the This Novel is Amazing competition and become a writer contracted by Yay Publishing House. Ugh. Come on, will you come with me? We don't know where we're going, nor do we know when we'll return to Inazuma. We might even encounter many dangers, but that's exactly why I'd like you to stay by my side. Of course, it's fine if you're not willing. I mean, everyone has their own life to lead. I don't mind. No, that's not right. I'm more than willing. Let me come with you. Kama's really changed. That's great. Then let's be off. Eh, so suddenly. Well, a real journey is the one that's full of pleasant surprises and little accidents, right? This might be a little bit too surprising, but still, please take care of yourselves. No worries. I'm sure we'll be alright, no matter what happens, so long as Kama's around. Take care. Thank you. Goodbye. If we should meet again, then let's do somewhere the sunset meets the sea. Then I'll see if your soul, which shines so clearly like a diamond, has had any dust laid upon it or not. Huh? It's the famous closing lines of the Vagabond Novice. Yamabuki iro no horo tan. Well, then, Lumin, Paimon, let's part ways here. Yeah, that was so fun. Okay. Um... Is this... Are the side quests spawned? I don't know when they start. Okay. 
This is the only place I remember with uh They have spawned. Yes. Kito, Kina, you're back? Really now, you should stop running around all the time. These old legs can't keep up with the two of you. What would we do if the two of you got into any trouble, huh? Um, hello there. You might have gotten the wrong person. What? Come now, how could you children say that to an old lady? You'll break my heart. Well, since you're here, don't go running off now, all right? Keep Granny company for a bit. Look, sorry, but I... Now, where was I with that story I was telling? Ah, yes, yes. This was when your grandfather's grandfather was still young. Beyond the Sea of Fog, on an island of the Outsiders, there lived the Sumari clan. They said that the matriarch of this clan was a woman with the appearance of a fox. They say that the flowers, the color of thunder, grew on this land. And the Somari people built houses and lived in harmony there amidst the mountains and the plains. And then, phew, their flowers, ha! Huh. <laughs> Outside the Sea of Fog, yes. M Granny, are you okay? Kito, Kina, oh, you're leaving? Oh, I'm sorry, I must have fallen asleep by myself again. Don't forget these before you go. Granny's been keeping them for you this whole time. Flowers from the far side of the Sea of Fog. Don't lose them now. There's like a bunch of side quests on Tsurumi Island that are not even marked on the map. They're unmarked quests. What are you guys digging? Nothing. Uh, one of them is here, right? There's a guy that wants me to fish or something? No? I could have sworn there was a fishing shade. Maybe they appear at different, uh... Points. There's no one here. That's unexpected.
No. Done. I can't all be done. Because. I didn't get the achievement for doing all of them. Well, that's a challenge. Nothing to it. Surumi Island, 97%. Shades are only visible from close to the ground, right? Mm. Yeah, because I know there's one there and I can't see it from here. I have no idea what I might be missing. So I'm just gonna move on. Easy. 
I thought, one was supposed to spawn from there, but, well. Does the great Thunderbird forsaken me? Um, uh, hello? Need any help? No, oh, mighty Thunderbird, please do not be angry. I will do my best to read your decrees and your instructions, but... But why do you reject me? Why? Why can't I enter the fog you created? Uh, wait a moment. Hasn't the fog dispersed? The storms that he left behind. I will do something about them, but the silver boat is coming. My time is short. What are these storm stones you're talking about? The storm stones of the Otake Plains. Only those who can wield the thunder can bring them back to life, and only those who can traverse the fog can find them. To stand tall like the Thunderbird, to unfurl one's wings like the Thunderbird. Okay. Well, it wasn't the last one. But I guess now I can actually finish it. Can't be missing that many. why some of them are not uh, doable. to waste that much time anyway. It either works or it doesn't. Okay. 
This stuff is just a little bonus, it's not really worth my... my looking up solutions and whatever. Shade. Uh, well, two. I remember the one I talked to first. And I remember this one right here. It doesn't like it when I pick its all, all the mushrooms. <laughs> hey, I'm over here, you know. Young people these days, don't you kids have any kind of courtesy at all? So sorry. Are these your mushrooms? None of your business. Just stop picking them however you like and get out of here. Eee, that guy just now. Did you see that? Ah, uh, must have been an illusion. Uh, that's just too spooky. Let's just grab a few mushrooms and get out of here, shall we? You too. I got him. Sick. I guess I remember this one as well. But... Yeah, you gotta remember this one, it's the last one. The near side of the river. Hey, the cypress painted silver. Boy, the silver worm hood on the ground. The silver stones lie all around. E excuse me, who are you? Oh, -ho, who have we here? Guess? Here to board the boat, perhaps? Ay, 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 but let's see, now let's see. Oh, you seem like outsiders. That won't do, no, that won't do. That won't do? What are you talking about? The shining silver skiff sails soft to yonder moon, but it was not prepared for you, oh no. Step not aboard, soil not the decks. Ay, 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 the fog is long scattered, and long scattered is the fog. Yet who has not boarded? The lady of the golden hall shall be angry, most angry. Boat? Where's the boat? Uh-huh, uh, hey. The silver skiff, scion of sun and slope. Hey, almost come home, almost return to the moon mansion that Golden burns. But for shame, for shame, some children have lost their way, and still, they have not boarded. The lady, she shall be angry, oh, most, most angry. Do you need any help? Are you listening to me? Come, come, board the boat. The boat, it is for boarding. When they're not, be lost no more, for life no longer mourning. The old who linger on things yet strange and new, let us return. Let us return to the golden halls upon the moon. I, didn't, I, I ended up not doing this. Yeah, because it was bullshit. I remember. Alright. That's it for Sarai Island. We're all done here. Not Sarai. Through me. My bad. Anyway, 
I'm going to take a break and I need to check something on my account because I don't remember if I did something. Oh wait, no. It's Monday. It doesn't matter if I did it or not. Because <laughs> it's already reset. So, I'll just check after. Um, then I'm, I'm going to take a quick break and I will be right back.雨降る風の中ふるさとを思う拙者と故郷のつながりはもうこの刀のみでござる手元に葉があるのなら拙者が草笛で一曲奏でよう。
降る風の中ふるさとを思う拙者と故郷のつながりはもうこの刀のみでござる手元に葉があるのなら拙者が草笛で一曲奏でよう。雨降る風の中ふるさとを思う拙者と故郷のつながりはもうこの刀のみでござる。手元に葉があるのなら拙者が草笛で一曲奏でよう。これほど美しき景色を見ればおのずと旅がしたくなるものであろう。手元に葉があるのなら拙者が草笛で一曲奏でよう。
雨降る風の中ふるさとを思う拙者と故郷のつながりはもうこの刀のみでござる Alright, I am back. Let's... Let's go on a fast tour through the stores. Two hundred twenty five. Spend these.
Okay, I can afford one. Thing. Let's use that. You too. And off to economy and we go. Wait. Yes, but not yet. Actually, yes, there, but not yet there. But economy, of course. This is finished. It's been a day. If I'm not mistaken, I can sell this. I might be thinking of another artifact, but... Are there Primo Gems involved? Dragon Bone Orb. Hmm. It doesn't give me any Prima gems. Fuck it. Only money. I don't need money on this account. Keep it. Time. 
Dann dann wo? Sir, what bullshit? でござるな。You get that? You go.
I can't even believe how much better the Spectres are. Working sh writing shit on the feedback survey works. Spectres are now a little similar to fungus, though. Not sure why they introduced fungus if they were going to do that to spectres, but... I'm okay with them being similar, as long as they're not annoying. How is there only one monument? deal with that.
Okay. I guess that works. Oh. I miss using Barbara. Excuse me, sir. Get off there. I jumped the gun. Where are they? Oh, okay, I remember this. That's a no right now. So I explore that from above, not from below. Okay. 
Michael. hidden but the map ran it out uh, uh, okay I remember this one This is four. It's a chest that's exquisite. Sit. 
it's completely closed off at night, isn't it? Maybe not. でござるな。風の行く先を。よ。行こう。Uh, uh, I didn't remember the mechanics here. I can only change it during the day and I can't enter. Or, or I can't enter but can't do anything. It? No. Ah. That one was undead. Undone.
Dante's Medal of Recognition. Is that Dante? Are you here to try my latest, greatest work, too? What are you, Economia Celebrity Chef? The name is Date. They used to call me Daedalus, son of Eridatus. I'm a labyrinth artisan. The puzzle you just went through is my work. Oh, so you're the guy who had fun stomping us, huh? Alright, bye. Hey, wait, wait a moment. I'm not just some kid doodling on pieces of paper. I'm no mere labyrinth artisan either. I'm the second best architect in the history of Byakuyokago. Number one! Why, Averaku no Mikoto, of course. Bless his heart. If the Dainichi Mikoshi were to be second place, no other building could take first place. The fact that you've met me means that you've cleared my first Neopathos-style labyrinth. How did you find it? Any interest in trying my other... Heterod heterodoxa style labyrinth it's completely different from the from one made only from walls no need we've sampled your work enough as is oh come on now this masterpiece was a result of abundant space time and funds a significant portion of us have already gone to live on watatsumi island up there on the surface so there's plenty of real estate around here that's why I borrowed hydrological studies in Byaku Yokaku. I mean, to study the principles of load bearing, the maximization of underground spaces, the avoidance of water leakage, and even some principles of geomancy. Well, and sorry, Emma, but I might have left a book in the labyrinth's treasure vault. Sorry, what were you muttering about? Nothing. I mean to cordially invite you to challenge my grand masterpiece. Whatever the case may be, take this key. It can be used to open the puzzles. If you are successful, you can even obtain a medal of recognition that I made myself. That's not a very rare prize. I've also hidden my treasures in the vault ahead. If you obtain two medals, you can open the treasury. Oh, is that how it is? Well, we'll give it a try if we have time then. Wonderful. I look forward to your feedback. Oh yes, since you've conquered the first labyrinth, here is your first medal. Oh, okay. So, any comments? How should we put it? It felt like... Felt like... It felt like it lacked a little boom shakalaka. Boom shakalaka, what's that? Obtain the other medal of recognition. No. Is this a quest? It is. I know where it is without needing the quest guidance. Uh, I don't remember what's the objective here, though. Uh, open them all. Close them all. Cool. 
Hmm. Oh, does it say here? Now that I've had a lock in this labyrinth, that old man can't bother me about writing anymore. Labyrinth is a labyrinth, and the maze is a maze. The word itself is derived from labrys, the double-bladed axe. So of course it should be symmetrical. During overnight, the two sides of the labyrinth become symmetrical, and so the way forward will become clear. It's pretty orthodox, but there's a little avant-garde in there, too. The one who finally solves the mystery will create the labyrinth. What a romantic notion. Such romanticism isn't something the old man obsessed with rhetoric and rhyme as he is would understand. Mm. Put them all in the middle and then we'll see. Yes, I wrote it. you clear the labyrinth over there as well good very good very impressive oh okay what did you think of it what do we think well it was super intricate and super awesome wasn't it <laughs> what do you mean <laughs> regardless since you now have both medals of recognition the path to the secret chamber should now be open place the medals in there and you should be able to open the treasury gate Got all the books? Easy. 
いざ行こう Hi, Tio. I mean, I wasn't expecting anything or anything. How are things going with the unreturned books? You got them all? These four books are the ones I'm looking for, yes, but what with this copy of The Serpent and Drakes of Tokoyoko? Because they have the unified cover that our collection uses, and I can't read a word of it. Well, we actually can't read your script, but we can confirm that this is the right book. Really, you're not just trying to trick me, are you? I mean, I'm not trying to make life hard for you, but I, I think I might get another anxiety attack. Could you tell me what this book is about? You tell Emma about Watatsumi Omikami's victory over the baptismal bishop. That is the story of this book, yes. Well, if you say so, I'll believe you. Uh, now that all the books are back, it's like a weight has been lifted off my back. Guess I won't have to look after that deep sea spirit herb after all. You know what? I decided that when I get up above the surface, I'm going to become a master of raw fish dishes. After tomorrow, come look for me on Watatsumi Island. I'll show you what I can do. You make raw fish dishes often, Emma. Not really. I haven't touched the kitchen knife in my life, really, but I'm the only one who has read a lot of books about Narukami Island cuisine. You might even consider me the first person in Byaku Yokaku to know about the thing they call sashimi. Just be careful not to cut yourself, alright? Ah, I won't argue with you further. I'll let my cooking do the talking. Just you wait. Alright then, please help me put the books back on that shelf over there. I like this library quest very much. Just come home, Yaimiya. Stop resisting.
sitio. Why? Didn't do anything. Why would I want to fight those guys? And I have gotten you. I guess I can put Barbara away. Understand where it is. It's coming from over there. Oh, okay. Oh, that's unfair. You've locked it to sigils. This one, though. What the? What did that do? Nothing. see a difference. But... Might see a difference now. Yuko. Isa. 
Don't care about you guys. I don't like it when uh, enemies pick a fight with me and then they're like, nah. I've reconsidered. Wasn't the deal. I guess it was on the event that uh, there were people here to talk to. Uh, this needs another teleporter close by.
My memories of this area are a little clouded because of the event, the Inconomia event, which uh, remixed the entire area. Very nicely, I might add. Just, just do the thing. Mm. Oh, I'm stupid. It was done. Yeah. <laughs> 
We got all the pieces. In a second, first the teleporter. Skin off my neck. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
How didn't that one get up? Does he not get up? He looks like he gets up. I know I say it's pain, but it's better than fighting uh, a bunch of... In, in, like, not at the same time. Stay there, stay there. Do you not see the dogs? Isn't there a guy somewhere that wants me to make a freaky shot with an arrow? Just use the mechanics and trust the thing I just... Hmm. 
silly over there? That's silly. Opens the path to this guy. Hmm, how strange. I have not seen someone in your guard for many long years. From your mannerisms, you are not from Byakuyokuku either. Are you some guest from afar who fell into this place? That is more or less correct. To think that there were ways to access Byakuyokuku from the outside world. Shocking news indeed. I was born here and I have never seen anyone from the outside world. Someone once told me that he wanted to catch a glimpse of the world outside. They took his words for a jest. Huh. Traveler, in truth I have a humble request for you. There are seven royal tombs scattered throughout Byakuyokuku in which remains of the, our sun children have been interred. The sun children? Indeed. Here, we worship the Dainichi Mikoshi. After a certain number of years, an infant will be chosen as the sun child, gaining control over the nation. We have a total of seven sun children. A rare traveler from another land, please kindly pay respects at their tombs. Why would you need us outsiders to do that? Isn't it usually up to their family and friends to pay respect to them? Indeed, that would normally be the case. Unfortunately, I fear that no one in this nation would want to do so. In fact, it is likely that these royal tombs have not been visited for a long time. But why is that? Do the people of this nation dislike the sun children? Dislike is perhaps too kind a of word. The test might be more fitting. As I said earlier, the Sun Children were born into their role. But how could mere children rule a nation? The ones who truly controlled everything were powerful people behind the scenes. The Sun Children were mere puppets, their every move manipulated by these people. And yet, there was no end to the greed of those powerful people. They grew fat off the toil of the people, compelling the Sun Children to perform heinous deeds. And so the people's eye arose, and many of those sins were laid at the feet of the Sun Children. That's awful. The Sun Children were innocent. Innocent? Oh no, they were not. As far as the people of Yakuyokaku were concerned, their ignorance was the greatest sin of all. A sin even committed in ignorance can hurt others. Can a person who commits such transgressions truly be called innocent? It would be difficult, no. The damage is already done, and it cannot be undone. But if that's what you think, why do you still want us to pay our respects to them? Well, you can consider this my personal sentimentality speaking. My name is Climbing. I was a female official in charge of taking care of the Sun Children's daily lives within the Dainichi Mikoshi. Though I knew what they, that they did wrong, and though I was aware that they were being manipulated, they were still children that I watched grow up. I pitied them, and I grieved for them. In the end, I could not hate them. Though my work involved being around them every day, I was under heavy surveillance. I was not permitted to say a single word when I was around those children. But when no one was around, when they were helpless and afraid, they would say so. So many things to me and I could not offer them a single word in reply. If I had possessed but a, sing but a little self-sacrificial courage to say something, anything to them, perhaps everything might have gone differently. So please, I beg you, I cannot face them as I am, so this is the only way I can honor them. Please, good traveler, lend me your aid just this once. A single single pearl is all I ask, to be laid before their tombs. This way you'll be able to light the soul lamps at the stone shrine here and open the way to the soul guides of locust and bring their spirits peace. Alright? Thank you. This task is in your hands then. Yeah. 
Someone is out of single pearls. No matter. That is uh, two, three, four, five, six. Isa, you go. Kaze no yuk suck you. Hook. Isa, hook. Sit. You go. No, no. to show up from out of nowhere. You go. Stop being able to swim there. That's a shame.
who's trying to fight me? Die now, so I don't need to fight the other guys. Come on. We found all the fragments. Wait, what? Huh? Seems that you've retrieved all the fragments. I'm not sure if you've realized this during the course of your adventures, but it is no longer important. Now please do not be startled by what I'm about to tell you. The blood branch coral needs to be retrieved from the body of a special baptismal bishops, which are right under the Dainichi Mikoshi. What is it with dragons and being buried underground? The bishops locked beneath it have been adjusted specifically such that they can accept fragments of Watatsumi Yomikami's blood branch coral without experiencing any rejection. But these adjustments have also made them exceptionally large, and they're most likely not that easy to kill. Nonetheless, every good trial must end with the hero defeating the wicked dragon. Looks like we'll have to fight after all, huh? That is the case, but you need not worry. The Vishap Swarm is not your match. I was pretty confident in Lumin's skills too, but can you prove that what you just said? Huh, <laughs> not at all. This is simply the default encouragement. That seems mighty irresponsible of you. Aren't you just giving your heroes blind confidence like that? Hmm, you know, you don't look like much, but you're actually brighter than our Watatsumi heroes. Interesting. No, uh, you guys just have too little brain juice to go around. Uh, wait, no, Paimon was just saying that this isn't right. I know, this is the scene of deception, but the Koro's retrieval is something that concerns the survival of Watatsumi. The heroes are only here because they're determined to see this through. All I can do at this point is push them forward. I have faith in the people of Watatsumi, and I believe in those that shall come after us. In name, at least, I am a sinless shade of Tokoyo, born for a ritual purpose. But on this level, I suppose I am not myself free of transgression. Sorry to disappoint you, but we're actually here for the treasure. 
In that case, allow me to help you put the reins of revival together. Though I suppose the name Reigns of Revival is not entirely accurate. It was originally written as the Reigns of Recovery, namely the recovery of control over things that return from beyond the grave. The chariot of the sun brings the light in the day, and by night come the spirits of the past. The one who bears the reins may master both the light and the gloom. Uh, speaking of which, where did Enjo go? That person looked up and down the Dainichi Mikoshi for a while before displaying some displeasure and leaving. It seems that he had not found what he was searching for. I am quite certain that he is not of any Watatsumi bloodline. He also has some kind of special art on his person that may be able to disrupt the ritual or cause me to dissipate. I am one who guides the heroes and cannot act rashly. If I were to disappear, these trials would also cease. I cannot allow such an outcome. As while he is not near, I must caution you to be wary of him. But we wouldn't have been able to find the Golden Riddle without his help. We might not even have reached the Dainichi Mikoshi at all. Is that so? Perhaps I am overthinking things. After all, only the trusted retainers of the Sangonomia would know the ancient language of Watatsumi. Of course, there is another possibility. But it is likely no large problem. Long years have passed since, and time grinds all civilizations into dust. But let us return to the trial. I shall open the path to the final trial. Watatsumi is pronounced guilty of the following sins. Four counts of the sin of profanity. And a further eight counts for the sin of deceiving living souls. With this stone I seal the everlasting, that transgressions past shall not be pursued. What are you talking about, Arrow? This is my final task, which is to read this blessing. It is meaning that... Its meaning that is that Watatsumi Omikami is about to carry all our transgressions and go to its death. There is one last thing I must ask of you. When you have left Enkonomiya, tell no one of anything regarding the trial. This is how all previous trials have been conducted, and I hope you can keep it this way. I understand. Next, you must prove your value against the baptismal bishops underneath the Mikoshi. <sighs> you know what? This isn't the way I want to put this. You are there for the coral, for the blood branch corals that were grafted onto their bodies, and they will simply, will not simply roll over and let you do it. They will unleash upon you the grudge that they have nursed over many long years against humanity. This will, without a doubt, be a mortal struggle. Singonomia's survival is in your hands. Good luck.
Check you out, Lumine. You actually defeated these with dismal bishops all by yourself. Impressive. Most impressive, indeed. Can I touch them? Ninja, what are you doing here? Uh, actually, I'm gonna touch them no matter what you say. These are the mortal foes of humanity, after all. This chance may never come again. Uh, oh yes, you must be wondering how I got here. Well, bear with me a moment. I need to think about where to start explaining. Simply put, Enconomia is the netherworld of sinners, yes? I am one such sinner. One who has committed the sins of deception and betrayal. Wait, wait, Paimon still doesn't get it. What are you trying to do, Enjo? I came here to search for a certain book. That book contains records of things that happened in Byaku Yokoku before the Dainichi Mikoshi was constructed. These chronicles are known to the people here as the times before Sun and Moon. Back then, no gods walked the earth, and the whole land belonged to a single civilization. Was there ever really such a time? Was there ever really such a time? The bards claim that the times when gods walked the earth is the furthest back we go. Yes, that's precisely it. That's why I wanted to find this book. That way we, the Abyss Order, would have proof. Proof that the gods and Celestia came from beyond this world. The only thing I do know at the moment is that the Great Serpent was sentenced to death by Celestia for accidentally reading this book. An entire nation was relocated. The door to the depths was sealed and that nation was stirred up in an eastern expedition to cover this, true, this truth. Yes, that was the grand ritual of sacrifice required for the people of Watatsumi to once again live like humans. But as for this book, I searched for it in the library and the Dainichi Mikoshi, but I could not find it. That's too much information. Wait, I said this much, and that's all you have to say? Not going to grit your teeth in anger or just dispense with that smack with that and smack me in the face? You seriously want to get beaten up that badly? But actually, I don't think I did anything that bad. I didn't technically lie to you. I am a clerical staff member sent to help you. I just never said that I was sent by Sangonomia. I was indeed translating literature here, but you know, it had nothing to do with the trial. I am a bookish character, and hey, did I or did I not transform into a fire-flinging monster? I believe that you refer to our exeget as lectors. Exegets. As lectors, yes. The devouring benthic flame. Yo! 
Decimate you, goodness, no, but I suppose a clerk is ultimately no match for a hero. I wanted to get rid of you and then find some disguise with which I could claim that your mission was a failure. I mean, there's gotta be some stories in which the hero doesn't slay the dragon, but oh well. When did you attack us? You mean, why wouldn't I, right? I'm a creature riding in the abyss, and you're a mortal walking in the sun. You did defeat a lot of my subordinates and comrades on your way here, too, so you can consider this revenge from a sentimental perspective. I mean, I was also thinking, see, I can't find this book no matter where I look. Might it be with you? Perhaps I should dispose of you and then search you. Also, hmm, this person here is carrying all these mint, cabbage, and fowl. I wonder what they're trying to do. Well, you get the picture. There are lots of reasons why I should kill you. As for reasons against, there's only one. I rather like you. Could you think of another? How about not taking on someone you can't beat? Uh, ha, 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 ha. Yes, yes, I failed. And we all learned a little something today, didn't we? I suppose you shouldn't trust people that easily in the future, eh? Take that little fellow by your side. Perhaps you shall someday face betrayal from that corner too. Who knows? Hey, hey, you trying to split us up here? Paimon doesn't really have much capacity for a betrayal. Oh, come on, you didn't learn anything at all. Well, whatever. We haven't much time left to talk. I'll depart for now. We'll meet again. The Biz Selector! Fathomless Flames. Suyuko, we found a blood branch coral. Our great hero, our gallant warrior, our mighty paragon, our destined savior. On behalf of Madame Kokomi and all the people of Watatsumi Island, I give you my thanks. You, must, you look exhausted. Perhaps it was too tasking, too taxing a task to send you down alone after all. Not alone. Paimon was there too. And then there was this other guy who sneaked in. He didn't help us a lot at first. But in the end, ah, oh, this is a long story. It's the main reason why Louine is so exhausted, too. It seems like something that Madame Kokomi did not anticipate occurred. Did one who seemed like a mere thief with a Watatsumi language dictionary turn out to be something far more troublesome? Who is someone from the Abyss Order? This, this is very grave news. I will report it to Madame Kokomi. However, since you have returned with a branch, it will soon come time for her to see... To the Watatsumi Goro Goryo Matsuri. I will go and pull her out of her room now. Whatever the case, Luin, please accept our gratitude. Okay. Enkonomiya's main quest done. I didn't remember. I guess you don't unlock the entire map on just with the main quest. Okay, 
Now the, the main guy is uh, visible. One thing at a time though. Oh wait, I killed the other guy but didn't place the thing in the tomb, did I? Uh, at least I take it they to respawn. First time I'm ever, I'm ever happy about that. It's not the first time. This just isn't my day. What's wrong? The results of my shooting training have been getting worse and worse. One of these days, that's where I'll end up beating myself in the knee. Are you practicing searching in a place like this? Ah, it's all the fault of that Jibarashi. He suggested I do this. You know what? I wonder if all of them are just a bunch of sadists. By the way, do you know anything about Unagi farming? I feel like there isn't much of a future for my archery. So, you know, might as well do something else. Do those two things have anything in common? Alright, never mind. Looks like you don't know the first thing about unagi farming. You need to catch some unagi fry first, for starters. But they're so small that you can barely see them with the naked eye. So I got to thinking that since archers can hit targets from very far away, they must have good eyes. As such, I want to ask some experienced shibarashi about how to train my eyesight. Akashi, you have to take training slowly. You can only make steady progress once you've laid a good foundation. 
Unagi Fryer are small and move about wildly, so you need to start with static targets. Not ones that are too close either. If you want to do things right, you've got to do things seriously. So I followed his instructions, practicing archery here. But I haven't hit the target even once. Is it even possible anyway? Actually, do you want to give it a go? If you stand on that stone platform, you can see the targets. Hit them all and it will be considered a success. Sure, leave it to me. Alright then, let me see your true abilities. Don't forget to come find me when you're done. Got it? Wow, you got it! You look like a real pro out there, though. I doubt someone with proper training like myself could reach your standards. Not even if I trained for a few years more. And I haven't seen a live jumping unagi for a long time either. What with coming here every day to train and all. You like unagi, by the way. I do. Is that so? As for me, I love them. So much that I'd love to try raising some one day. Don't you think they look cute? Well, unagi on a dinner platter are the best, of course. Lovely to look at and to taste. One heck of a combination. Speaking of which, do you think I've got my priorities wrong? I mean, I'm only practicing archery because I want to raise unagi, but I only want to do that because I love them. In the end, I love them when they're living free, so there's probably no point trying to raise them, you know? In any case, thanks for the demonstration. Please take these. Good luck. Didn't realize I had so many achievements left to claim. Yunjin. Uh, two rows of text.
I like this a lot. Like the the elemental monuments here are almost all hydro. It makes so much sense because the society is all is not uh, devoted to the god of thunder. I like that they actually put thought into things. It's not just random elemental monuments strewn about. Attacking if they, even after they're dead. You can never be too sure. How do I have Ink and Omiya at 94% if I still haven't gone to the three last places? That's kind of ridiculous. I'm not even done with this area. I haven't even been to that area yet. Sealy on each phase of the day. Oh. 
to. You want to fight with those guys? Let's stand close to them. There's more. What a fucking coward! This isn't where I wanted to go. Where is that? Oh, it's here. Can owe me a ninety six percent. Now the seven soul lamps are lit. Seems that you have completed your task. I will always remember how you have aided me. Now come, allow me to open it for you. The path to the soul guides locus. Traveling from a foreign land, I know that I have caused you much trouble, but please bear witness as they are laid to rest. Follow this path, or we'll meet you on its far side. Ah, uh, Traveler, you have arrived. This is the Soul Guide's Locus, and this is where my final thoughts remain. When the Sun Children reached a certain age, they would follow a ceremony and enter the Dainichi Mikoshi on their birth date. They would enter it? Doesn't that mean... Yes. 
That process was known as the Rite of Solar Return. The Sun Children were birthed from the Dainichi Mikoshi, and they would again return to the Seat of the Sun, before the mortal, mortal world could date them. The temperature of the Dainichi Mikoshi was such that its light could warm all of Byaku Yokaku, of the Sun Children not but shreds of souls that once were returned at last to the Locus. But I still believe that, perhaps... Perhaps... If I was the one who opened the Locust, I might be able to use my memories to supplement what remains of their souls. Allow me to try. Kiramumo. Orupeuzo. I am here. Will you not return? How did it go? Well, the seven sun children, Kiramumo and Orupeuzo, were raised by mine own aunt. If they, if even they will not return, it seems that my memories alone are insufficient. If only there was something I could use as a medium. If I had the divine bridle, perhaps the badge of the sun child's office, it might just work. But alas, it was lost, it was long ago. Oh, this nation, the Akuyokaku, still hates those children. Perhaps my desire to free their souls is but a forlorn hope. But still, traveler. If you would consider this my final request, could you help to find the Divine Brittle? I know that the chances of finding it are quite slim, and indeed it is rude of me to ask yet more of you, but I understand. I'll do my best. I thank you. Still, the Brittle has been lost for many long years. You need not rush. If you should hear of it, please tell me. Do I not have the Divine Brittle? I do. Could you help me have a look at it? Ah, this is the Divine Brittle, the genuine article indeed. I never thought that the day would come when I might lay eyes on it once more. Traveler, tell me, whence did you get this? From Averako. From Averako no Mikoto himself? How strange. I remember clearly that it was a great figure from the days when our nation had just been founded. But it was said that he planned to usurp the seat of the Sun Child and was branded with the crime of treason. But since you say that you obtained it from his hands, perhaps there are hidden things at work that I do not understand. So fate has decreed the brittle should resurface here. Ah, I can recall the faces of those children already. This way, I might finally atone for my failings. Traveler, place the brittle within the pool at the Locust. With it we can surely revivify their souls. Yes, that they may be made whole, and that they may walk the path to the next life hail. Ah, uh, Piramumo! You did so love books, saying that there must be a world outside our knowledge, though I did not believe you then. I always smiled and shook my head at your wild pronouncements. Alas, alas, I should have believed you. You said that one day you would escape the Dainichi Mikoshi and venture into paths beyond. Go now, Piramumo. Let no one shackle you again. Go, be free. And you, Orupeuzo, Orupeuzo, what would I give to hear you sing again? There was no one who could hear you cl your clear, pure voice and did not wish to sing along in their hearts. The night before the rite of, so of solar return, you suddenly wished to hear my voice, no matter what you desired to hear me sing. You told me that no matter how terribly I sang, you would not laugh. You knew, didn't you? You knew that the solar return would be your last. And yet I, to the end, I... Climbing? I apologize, Traveler. That was unsightly of me. The female official who serves as the sun children is meant to maintain her purity. She shall never marry, as I had no children of my own all my life. These children whom I served and watched grow older, at some point they became closer to me than blood. Thank you, Traveler. Thank you for finding the brittle. It has passed through the hands of every sun child, and the memories it has inherited are enough to fill the gaps in their souls. Even though these memories are double-sided. Memories of sides? Of course. In this case, the memories are twofold. 
On one hand, you have your own memories, and on the other, you have others' memories of you. Thus the gaps are being filled by both the sun children's own memories imprinted upon the brittle, as well as the memories of them as the children who were blamed by Byaku Yokaku of those who became children of sin. My own memories are insufficient, and so I had to supplement them with those of the people of our nation. And it is thanks to these transgressions that have been laid upon them that they have now been remembered by Byaku Yokaku and can now leave their after images behind. Thank you, traveler. My greatest wish now lies fulfilled. I can finally be at ease. Yes, I can finally be with those children again. I think we can now look for the children. They can finally leave their after images behind, which means I can find them. I believe there was one here, yeah. Hmm, I've never seen people dressed like you are before. Are you someone who fell from that, from beyond the skies? So, the world does not end with our glorious nation. Well then, surrender your map to me for my perusal. You give him your map. Ah, how very intricate! Not only are the landforms accurately drawn, but even the paths of the mountains and rivers can be seen. Well then, how large is this nation you call Teyvat? How does it measure up to Byakuyokaku? Teyvat's a whole continent! Also in Konomiya, that is Byakuyokaku, is this small patch on the south end of the map? Nonsense! Our lands are vast and broad! How can they occupy such a puny space? This map may seem exquisitely drawn, but it is, in truth, an errant fraud. Away! Away with it! To think I had even a moment of admiration for this cheap charlatanry, to the defilement of mine eyes. Well, sit yourself, kiddo! Did the thing disappear? No. None here. For some reason, I think there's something here. But it might have been from the event, as always. Well, fuck you too. Appeared before you must mean that the blood branch blood branch quarrel is in Watatsumi's hands. And a most comforting thought that is. My name is Erebos. In the Inazuma tongue, that would be Eboshi. I am an auxiliary of Sengonomia, one of the shrine maidens of Enkonomia. You must be the hero who obtained the quarrel, I suppose. That would be me. My apologies, but that which I shall shortly speak of is a most complicated matter. In truth, I do not know where to begin. Just act from the start, we'll listen. You have my gratitude. In that case, allow me to introduce such matters as I may to you. We must begin with Watatsumi Omikami opening the gate to the depths. The depths of Enkanomiya play host to a natural cave system that leads to Watatsumi Island. 
This is the paradise that was promised to us by Watatsumi Omikami. At Omikami's instruction, we learned the culture of Narukami, and we established foreign relations with many different nations. Narukami Island even knew us as the beauties of Watatsumi, renowned for our soft skin, which would conceal seven types of skin blemish. This of course being mostly a consequence of our ancestors' lack of sunlight in the depths of Ekonomiya. Mm, this feels like old news. Can we get to the point? Sorry. During the process of establishing foreign relations, I would give guided tours to visitors in my role as Sengonomiya Auxiliary. So I just... Right. Back to the point. Lady Sengonomiya and I had a disagreement which resulted in the current arrangement following Watatsumi Yomikami's medi medi mediation. Hey Arrow, how goes it? All minecrafted out. Due to the phenomenon known as Sin Shades, the past, history, and truth of Enkonomiya would endure even if left to their own devices. As such great effort was expanded, expended, not that we might remember, but that we might forget, Lady Sengonomia was of this view. The Sengonomia she's talking about must have been from a real long time ago. The trial to obtain the branch was intended to limit the number of people coming after us who could know the whole truth of the matter. As for me, I supported leaving records of the truth. As such, Watatsumi Omikami permitted me to add another trial path. That, if passed, would lead to knowledge of our secrets. Please accept this challenge. I accept your challenge. That is well. In that case, allow me to open the path for you. Hungry? Um... I, I want to know your opinion on the trailers I sent you, by the way. In time, you can go heat first. Haven't watched them? Yeah, yeah, well, of course. I'm I'm assuming... I'm just at, saying when, when you eat, uh, watch them or something. The three trial areas have been prepared. Now allow me to give you the clues to clearing them. Now in December night, gazed upon the borders of Byakuyokaku. In the faintness of everlasting night beyond the rushing of the river sticks, within the sinless flow of heavenly light. Release the seal on the eminent skylight, then you may ascend to the gate of heaven and access the site of the trial. The eminent skylight? At night you can see three pillars of light that descend from the dome above. These pillars point onto the eminent skylight. Well, if you heard me earlier, even if you didn't tell me, I'd assume they were from Mihoyo of Thumbnails alone. Uh, the trailers? Well, you also assumed another game was from Mihoyo that wasn't. <laughs> You're speaking in riddles! Sorry, this is another script written by what Tatsumi Omikami reads. I mean, aren't unclear instructions also part of the tradition of such trials? Whatever the case may be, all the jibarashi at the trial area are weirdos. If you don't pass through the teleporter to get there, they won't speak gently to you. Either way, I can only stay here and hope that you will conquer all the obstacles set before you and that you will return crowned in recognition. Uh, yeah, I didn't pay a lot of attention to it, to be honest. But, uh... Mihoyo, they actually do, like, for example, there are characters in Genshin that have a Honkai counterpart, but they're, they're pretty different still. It's insane, I only noticed because I saw a video of how shit it was doing in China and why. Uh, is it Chinese? 
as well. Oh, yeah, it's probably Chinese. The same team doing it, that's completely fine. No, but they actually change a lot of stuff. It's, uh, but there's a uh, Raiden and there's Raiden Mei and Yei Sakura in Honkai Impact. Um, but yeah, they, they do change them pretty substantially from Honkai. Did I get anything from doing this? Yes. Where the fuck is this? It's their art style, it's inescapable, not necessarily a bad thing. No, I like it. But I do think that Zenless Zone Zero goes for a different feel like even if it has the like the art style of the humans it it does feel different at least i think it does Oh, there it is. Oh, Traveler, you look pretty interesting. What say I take a stab at reading your fortune? I am Ion, after all. I never miss a reading. Really? You sound like a hustler. Also, Paimon remembers that his tombstone read. Oh, come now. What's with that suspicious look? I always read people's fortunes. That said, few of Byakuyokubu's people have happy fates awaiting them. So I often cheat them, telling them that their luck will turn. If nothing else, I think that I can grant them a little happiness that way. In the end, they said that I couldn't tell fortunes at all. Ah, uh, how saddening. Is that how it is? Well, little one, I'll prove it to you right now. Oh, oh sure. Try by one on for size. Alright, let me have a careful go with this. Uh, why is there so much interference? Eh? W what's wrong? I, I can't read your fortune. How could that be? I don't get exactly r I don't get it exactly right most of the time, but I usually don't fail to get a reading at all. I guess you ain't that good, huh? It does seem so. It seems that I must continue my studies in earnest. <laughs> Isn't that the same location? right next to the other guy. Ah, oh, so you are the traveler from afar. What are you pursuing? The sight of you coming this way was grievous to watch. Grief? What's there to be said about? For a singer of songs, everything in this world is worth grieving. 
where there are meetings, there must be partings, and those who are born will one day return to the earth. Reunions are too brief to solve the pain of long separations, and as for you, traveler, only those in pursuit of something will journey into another realm as you do. The locals who have lived here for a long time would find such a journey romantic, but for the wayfarer themselves it may mean unspeakable pain. If you came in an earlier climb, I might have sung for you, but I have sworn an oath with someone that I shall not sing again until I hear her voice. I can only wish you well, though you seem far older than I. I hope your wish comes true. Where is it? Oh. Getting too far away. Oh, 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 found it. Well, judging by your appearance, you must be a traveler from another nation. Where do you hail from? We are from Mondstadt. Monstead. I've never heard of such a city. To think that there was such a place. <laughs> it's just as I said then. The world couldn't possibly only be the size of Byakuyokaku. I mean, if Byakuyokaku were... All there was in the world, what would that would be a most lonely world indeed. The ancient texts also talk about times before our nation was founded. That's when I began to believe that there were lands beyond ours. But I was still scared, you know. Scared that there was really nothing else out there. You have no idea, Traveler, how much your arrival sets my heart at ease. <laughs> so there are many more fascinating places to see in this world. It's just a shame that I have this festival called the Rite of Solar Return to attend to. How about this, Traveler? Tell me how you came here. Once the festival has ended, I'll find an opportunity to sneak out of the Dainichi Mikoshi. Let's have some fruit juice together instead. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> They're all on this island? Seshato Kokyo no Tsunagariwa. 
もうこの刀のみでござる What? Don't disturb me, I'm thinking. Yes, I'm thinking about something very important. What is it? Have you seen that thing they call the Dainichi Mikoshi? Remind me tomorrow to do bosses if you're going to stream on your account, or we do it on Thursday afternoon if you want. Uh, okay. The tallest thing in the whole country. Tuesday afternoon? That's tomorrow. You mean Wednesday? No, it was a holiday today. Not Sunday. <laughs> the tallest thing in the whole country. I was thinking about how I can build something even taller than that. But it's only so tall that it can light up Yaku Yokoku, right? What's the reason for your building being so tall? To display my glory, of course. The glory of Rikoru the Great. That'll show old man Abaraku who's boss. Mm, you know Abaraku? Of course, he built Tainichi Mikoshi and saved Byaku Yokaku. I used to look up to him. But as it turned out, we had designs on... He had designs on the throne. If it wasn't for those adults, I would be dead right now. That's why I will build something taller than the Dainichi Mikoshi. How long will that take? Like I care. The people of Byaku Yokaku should be happy that I would ask them to build such a historical wonder for me. Alright then, stop bothering me. Let me think. If the beams are this long, if we do it that way, the load bearing and wood joinery. <laughs> exactly. Just join us, we'll carry you. I mean, it is the right thing to do. Join the people who are most serious about playing this. Remember the struggle. <laughs> Thanks. Remember, NA means not applicable.
I haven't. Stop moving. Oh, stop it. Stop. I say, come on, I told you to stop moving. Didn't you hear me? The Paimon can't just stop moving. Imagine asking Paimon not to move. Would you fall down, Paimon? No way. Uh, all right, turn around then. I've never seen these clothes in my life. Not entirely aesthetically pleasing, but they are somewhat interesting. If you don't like them, why do you even look? Seriously? Asking these lady retainers to model for me was hardly this difficult. That said, I've gotten quite sick of looking at the way our people dress. As for what you're wearing now... That's pretty... What you're wearing? Now that's new. Mm, I know. So that's how they put those clothes together. Wow, you outsiders really are shameless. I see, I see. So if the clothes are made like that, then the body shape should be like this. What are you doing? Making a statue. I mix clay and water, and then I knead them into shape with both hands. It helps to calm me. It's one of the only things that does. And you know what definitely doesn't calm me? Standing in regular meetings, reading aloud based on material pre-written by those adults. Uh, well, whatever. I'm done with your forums as well. Now stop bothering me. Go do your own stuff. You just did? But it's been over for a bit. Oh, you only did it. Okay. No, I got it. Oh, I get it. Uh, the new events are really cool. Puzzles with gears. I don't even know if you're being serious right now. <laughs> I know it is puzzles with gears, just... Not sure you're being serious when you say it's cool. Travelers from distant lands, <laughs> you seem quite tired. 
That won't do, you know. Many illnesses have their humble beginnings in exhaustion. You must ensure that you get enough rest every day so that you... <laughs> ...can grow healthily. You know what? You're not looking too good yourself. <laughs> it's an old malady of mine. You must maintain a healthy body to stimulate a healthy soul, Traveler. Ah, uh, if only I had more time. <laughs> I'm just uh, committing to the act. If only I had more time, I would become the greatest physician in the world. That way, even with this body of mine, I would surely be able to walk out of my room in good health and play to my heart's content. Let me just uh, do something here. It's certainly different doing uh, Tsurumi and Inkonomi at the same time. Let's go to the store. Have you bought everything from the store, Smint? Just tell me. No. Just take it.
Just take it and shut the fuck up. Creation Q oh. creating the Okay, Tubby. Alright, let me take a quick break and then we'll do the final trials of Enkonomia. That won't be long. Amekuru
これほど美しき景色を見ればおのずと旅がしたくなるものであろう I am back. So I was uh, looking. Clearly, should have gotten water. Good job. Try to finish off the stuff in Tsurumi. The unmarked stuff. Not enough at all. The treasure that brother left me is in those conches. But they've been scattered. I they've been scattered all over. It's brother's treasure. I can't leave yet. No, no. Treasure? He went out into the sea of fog and that made the priest really angry. The priest said that my older brother's spirit would never be able to return. But brother said that there are lovely flowers there and seas with pearls. Father rose a boat there, and he and our little sister waved to us. He left his treasure behind when he went out to sea, and he never returned. Let's 
I don't see it. I see it. Those look like the conches and the... Um, <laughs> in the Golden Apple Archipelago. Something tanky as fuck. You found him too? Really? Smith found a hidden objective. There's no waypoint pointing to it. I would even assume you didn't know about them. I see, I see, so that's where the treasure was. Thank you so much. Though we won't be able to go to the Land of Dreams together, I'm sure I'll be able to turn into modes of light and return to look for you. The strange spirits wandering in a strange land also dream, I wonder.
Did you finish all the boatman quests, Mint? Okay. There's a bunch and they're all unmarked. Must pay me for my days off. Well, take it easy, sir. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night. I'm I'm very high on pity in this uh, in this uh, account. I might uh, end up asking you to go and just do those two. Oh, you can't see it. I have 13 on the pity currency, so I might ask you to do that. If I don't get her normally. Because it's, it's very high. I'm, I'm in the 70s. Um, so, yeah. But yeah, have a good night, have a good night. 20 pity, 32 wishes saved. Yeah, nice. On my main account, I have I have a bunch of wishes and uh, two pity or something. <laughs> So I was right. <clears throat> there is a spirit here, but you need to fish before he asks you to fish. <laughs> Have a good night, sir. Ah, wait, that's probably enough. One. Yeah, you're pretty good at fishing. Reckon there's room for improvement, though. Okay. What happened to greeting before deciding to just show up? <laughs> sorry, sorry, I always forget to say hi and all. Easy to forget that I might scare people, you know. Doesn't seem to stop you from enjoying it. Oh, come on, scaring kids is fun from time to time, don't you think? <clears throat> anyway, let's get back to talking about fishing. What? Is it serious business? Well, so, I know this isn't the best look, but when I was fishing earlier, I dropped the charm that Makiri gave me. It's got blessings from her ancestral spirits and the great thunderbird in it. In it. I, I don't know what I'd tell her if she found out that I lost it after we board a boat. The golden boat guy said he'd scrounge some people up to help me search, but it doesn't look like anyone's coming. So I thought, I thought that since you're here, you can help me out too. Here I thought you were the reliable one. My usual fishing spot's just over there, but my memory's getting weaker and weaker somehow. So I'm afraid that I've got to leave it to you to help me search. Since it's a place of ancient memory, I guess the feather should do the trick. What do you mean? Is this some way in which you outsiders find things? Well, whatever it might be, you should be able to find the charm as long as you find the right spot. How will I search for the charm itself? By fishing it out of the water. I guess that works. Thank you, friend, from afar. May the great thunderbird and our ancestors protect you. It's not here, right? Isa. Yeah. 
Who's that? Catch a scattered page of a book. Okay, well. That's not what I wanted to do. problem with the fishing though is that I have never done it on this account so I'm unprepared Fourteen. Technically, that's not true. Actually, thought that was the one.
really don't feel like going over this with uh, a list. Not that it's a big area, but it's confusing. There's too many of them. Doesn't feel worth it. I wonder if I got the trophy for the achievement for letting a fish go. I didn't have it. Okay, cool. Achievements are achievements. I'd rather have a Prima Gem than success. Is this what you were looking for? Thank you so much. Now oh, I can finally board the boat in peace. Where's that boat going, anyway? To the land of gold. The land of dreams. A realm with no fog. We'll meet again in dreams, friend. So, that's my life. There's more over here, we're all lit. This one is lit, and so are the other ones, the three down there. Okay. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to calm over this and still not find it. It's too complicated. There's too many little icons on the map. 
I'd need to actually be marking them. And, um... On the interactive map. I, I don't want to waste my time doing that. Sometimes they don't load immediately, and I think I found it. Yeah, I, I don't see anything weird. If anything, I'm like, oh, so that's what I'm missing. Yeah, the other ones who are uh, all white don't count. So at least I don't have to worry about that. Could I maybe have done it, but need to talk to her to confirm? Oh, I wonder if that's it. That would be awful. Oh man, that is it! Oh shit! Oh shit! Well...雨降る風の中ふるさとを思う拙者と故郷のつながりはもうこの刀のみでござる行こう
Man, that sucked. So I had it done. For the longest time. I got the requests, did the last one, could have finished immediately. Huh, funny. I was sure I had it in my pocket. Hello there. That won't do. We were supposed to pass them to Granny Una. She's grown old and can't remember a ton of things clearly anymore. Recently, she started going on about things that happened to her when she was young. She's always going on about flowers this and flowers that. She even said that they were flowers from beyond the Sea of Fog. Ones that looked both different and very pretty. Then one day I had a dream. I dreamed that the fog that covered the island disappeared with a single whoosh. And there, on the other side of the ocean, stood a tall, huge, beautiful house. It wasn't made of wood or made of gold. Me too, me too. In that dream I scaled high mountains and climbed great trees and gathered lots and lots of beautiful flowers. I'd never seen them in my life, but I knew that those were the ones Granny Una was looking before. But the flowers were too heavy, so I fell from the tree. I fell and fell and fell and then I woke up. Huh, that'll teach you to be so greedy. I said we'd gotten enough of them already, but no, you didn't listen. I ended up falling out of the tree together with you two. Well, our pockets are empty now, and the stuff's all gone. How are we going to face Granny Una like this? We're back. Will these flowers do? Yeah, those are the ones. What are we? They're just like the ones in my dream. Thanks so much. Kita, once we've gone to see Granny Una, let's head to the beach on the east side to play. You can see Shorai Shrine from the there, from over there, you know? It's Kirai Shrine, come on! Hello there. You two seem quite energetic. Thanks for helping us get those flowers. Still, I've got to say that something's fishy around here. Me too. I mean, it's odd, isn't it? Every time we go to a different place, we always meet unhappy people. And no one can hear what anyone else is saying. And every time we find a beautiful flower, pick it up and put it in our bags, it goes missing super quick. Well, that's because it's time to leave, huh? Is that so? I don't really get it. We need to leave? That golden man did say something like that as well, but we can't go with him yet. We still got to bring Granny Una some beautiful flowers. Are these the flowers you were looking for? Thanks. We'll bring these flowers back to Granny Una. Hey, Kito, give me health. Let's go to the other side of the mountain. There's some great places to play in the Otake Plains in the southwest. She's just gonna be so mad at us, but whatever. I wanna go too. Looks like we meet again. Hello again. Hello to you too. Uh, still here. By the way, do you know what this big rock is used for? Hey, Kido knows everything, don't you know? I don't know. What is it used for? I've heard Grandpa Mata say that this is a tombstone used to guide the spirits of the lost deceased. Lost lingering spirits will be attracted to these big rocks and so they'll wake up here. And after they do, they'll wander the island looking for someone who can fulfill their wishes. Once they find that person, they can finally be taken away by the boatman. Some of those spirits are nice, and some of them aren't that nice. 
And that's why those who pass by these big stones in the night have to loudly declare their name and clan. After all, those who know who their ancestors can, who know their ancestors can have way more confidence than some lonesome ghosts. Once they hear where you've come from, they'll slink off quietly and not bother you anymore. Uh, trouble is, you're an outsider, aren't you? I don't think you'll have any clan to announce. Uh oh, that's true. What will you do if you encounter a bad spirit? Heh, <laughs> you know what? It'll be fine, cause I'll protect you. Right, that's right. I'll help scare those bad spirits away too. Far side of the river. Hey, the golden oak is yonder. Hoy! The golden... Uh, what was this other golden thing again? Golden fish, maybe? I mean, they're pretty delicious. He brought the flowers he wanted. So you still remember? Nice, thanks. Thanks a bunch. I'm going to the river down south to fish for some shells. See you later. Hey, Kina, don't wade into the river. It's dangerous. Next to the first waterfall? Hey there, we meet again. Kido doesn't feel like talking much today. Uh oh. Well, that's a... That's a message. <laughs> sort of follow, I guess. Can't even watch Watch Dogs so against your people being weird. <laughs> weird is one way to put it. Uh, is something wrong? You don't look all that happy. It's... it's nothing. I'll play by myself today. Don't worry about it. Well, would you look at that? He's sulking all by himself again. Hmm. <laughs> oh, arrogance. Why? <laughs> I'm anything but hangry. It is. It's nothing worse than what you guys sometimes say, but it's, uh, first impressions count, <laughs> right? I mean, I didn't read everything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't throw a said worse. <laughs> He's sulking all by himself again. What happened? Anything I can help with? Come on, Kido. No need to get mad at an outsider. Sorry. I shouldn't have been mad at you. It's all good. Could you tell me what happened at least? Old man's bugging us to board the boat again. He talked about going to a shining golden place where there's no fog. I want to go there. I want to stay with Granny Una. He doesn't play with us. And he never has interest. Nez never has 
Anything interesting to say? He just keeps telling us to leave. He's so scary. It's not as if we're not good at leaving or anything. We're just afraid that Granny Una will worry. Oh, thanks so much. Sorry for troubling you. Come on, Kido, I know a great place where we can have an adventure. There's a mountain hollow on the north side of Mount Senna. It's a real secret and everything. It's called Mount Kana. Where is this? Not sure I remember the entrance to this. <laughs> indeed, indeed. That message was tamed for <coughs> for Melty. <clears throat> he recharges fast enough. Hello there. Hey. Hey, hey there, Kido Kina. Still need any sakura blooms? Thank you, but we won't need anything this time. We're leaving soon. We're going to the land without fog. We're gonna go see bi the big shiny golden owls, and we're gonna ride on a boat to get there. But before we go, we still need to thank you. Also, could you please pass this to Granny Yuna for us? Place this in her hand, and she'll stop worrying and come with us. We're counting on you one last time. Thank you so much. Ah, kind passers-by, please, please take pity on me. What's happening? Thank you, thank you for listening to these old bones pour out their woes. Oh, come here, come here. Do let me say a little more. I have not seen my life take a single good turn, not ever. When I was but a newborn, the presiding priest accidentally knocked the lamp over, burning all the long hair on my aunt's head. Oh dear. Later, I contracted some strange illness and from then on suffered from a chronic ungainliness. Still later on, I fell from my cradle, breaking six ribs. When I grew a little older, my father hit me over the head with his shovel by mistake as he fought to save my cousin, who had almost choked to death on mushrooms. And then... There was a time when my beloved Finch was eaten by the Wen Kamui, our family kept, before that same Wen Kamui was knocked off a cliff by a boar. After that, the girl I liked accidentally sacrificed the priest to the great thunderbird, and she was exiled from the island. 
she sacrificed the priest? When I grew up, my grandma died from grief at my ugliness and gloominess, and my grandpa soon followed. Then after that, you could at least take comfort in your family, right? Now speaking of my family, when I came of age, our witch doctor told me that I wouldn't be able to have children because I'd grown a... One moment, let me show you. Uh, I'll pass. Uh, alright, but would you listen to just one last thing? If you don't mind, I'd like you to do just this last thing for me. Well, as long as it's not some weird stuff again. Some time ago I accidentally dropped my golden ring into my wife's grave as I was burying her. That is the last thing I have in my possession. But I dare not take it out for fear that her spirit might be angered. Uh, so this is a grave robbing gig? Well, uh, I mean, you're an outsider. You do all sorts of strange things, don't you? Um, no, no, wait, I mean to say that an outsider like you would be able to avoid angering the local spirits, yes. Go to Kirai Shrine, our grave should be right beside it. The sky was a bundle of joy. Over here. Ah, dear Chicago, if only were here to see this. Hmm, I gotta admit, you're pissing me off. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please don't be angry. I and my wife have always enjoyed playing pranks on others. We've never pulled the same trick twice, you know. Everyone enjoyed them, too. Later, she suffered from a serious illness and left this world early. She told me then that I had to play a trick on someone in front of her grave or her spirit wouldn't be able to move on. So I did. It was Shipa Shikapu's wish. How did it go? Pretty good, huh? Hmm, it was kind of lame. Ah, uh, come on, you outsiders are no fun. Well, I've still got a trusty water spraying trick if you'd like to see it. No? Ah, oh, come on. Alright, alright, I'm leaving. See you! <laughs> Oh, you got me. Let's play again next time. What? That's it? <laughs> Directly east of the teleport. You found me again. You're pretty good at this. I won't get caught next time. Thank you. 
did we have to do this? Of course, one is out of range. If only I could throw it in the water. Oh wait, I can! I don't think I've ever seen that happen. In my... I don't even know how many hours of Genshin Impact. Wait, seriously? No, I just didn't hide well enough. Another round, let's go for another round. Ah, if only everyone was as good as, at this as you. We're good friends now, aren't we? No. Too many. And yet I've never seen that happen. You know, in many ways what surprised me the most is how much I play this and how surprisingly bug-free the whole experience is. You found me again. You know, I'll miss you, but I came this time to say goodbye. The golden man says we gotta go. Don't worry about me. Where I'm going, there's tons of people to play with. I wish you would come too, but the golden man says that it's not time yet. It's totally fine though. Totally. I'll just wait for you there. And if I can't wait, I'll turn into little bits of light and look for you in your dreams. Have a good trip now. Yeah, I will. It was fun playing with you. Thanks a bunch. I won't be alone anymore. This is great. Definitely polished. I think the busy character thing helps too. What's the busy character? I didn't get that. Ah. This is painful. X is busy with another quest. Ah, oh, maybe. I don't know how important that actually is, though. Okay. I mean, there could be multiple instances of the same character now. I guess it would break your disbelief a little.
雨降る風の中ふるさとを思う拙者と故郷のつながりは、oh, I love that. Meet again, traveler. If you have time, do you mind doing me a favor? The remuneration will not disappoint. Hmm, so what do you want? Absolutely could be. I'm sure it's way easier for there not to be. Okay. So, what's the big idea here? I've never done anything to you. I recall that our previous transaction was quite amiable. Well, whatever. Let's get to the chase. You once said folk do stow love to natter on and drag your feet. Do you remember our previous deal? You help me and I'll let you in on some things you'd like to hear. Same deal this time. You set me up with some of Monsanto's local specialties and I'll spin you a little yarn. How does that sound? What sort of yarn? Haha, <laughs> well, get me the goods and you'll get your story. You won't lose out. Worry not. We Fatui always deliver. All right, all right, just do it for me and quickly. I'll be waiting for you inside the cathedral. Really now, what a way to make a heist out of the milk run. Welcome to Gun Hunter. How can I help you? Sell any Monstead specialties? Monstead specialties? What can I say? Every last one of our dishes is unique to Monstead. However, most of them have a short shelf life and are by no means convenient items to bring on a long trip. We can, of course, cook them differently to make them more suitable for travel and storage, but it comes at a significant compromise in taste and quality. Doesn't bother me. All right then, if you insist. But if this is intended as a gift, I'd advise you to cook a fresh batch of whatever you choose. Everything here has been set out for a while. Might I ask where your friend is from? Perhaps I can make a recommendation. Shneznaya. Wow, that's a long way from here. I need to be careful with my choice of ingredients. Mm, I know nothing of Shneznayan tastes, but I do know a dish that caters to all tastes. Make me a satisfying salad, and I will process it for you to make it more durable. Uh, you know something? I can't actually remember the last time I had to get the tools for this job out of the cupboard. I go to a restaurant to make them... Tell me to make a salad? Why even go to the restaurant? I own 19. A satisfying salad is not bad at all. As discussed, it's not to you, it's not, you're not supposed to try it. Here's your specialty dish. Welcome to Floral Whisper. Do you need anything? You sell any Mondstadt specialties? You're looking for a gift? Mm, but I only sell flowers, which don't stay fresh for very long. They will, they'll they wilt very quickly. The only other thing I can think of is to make a flower bookmark. I sometimes make them as gifts for my friends. They aren't worth a lot in monetary terms, but maybe they have some sentimental value. If you're interested, I suppose I can make one for you. But first you must answer my question. Answer correctly and I will make a bookmark for you. It's a very easy question. Here goes. Is the dandelion a flower? Yes. Wow, you answered that so quickly. Ooh, you certainly know a flower when you see one. Wow. Here you go. Here's your bookmark. Handmade by me from a dried wind wheel aster. If this doesn't count as the Mondstadt specialty, I don't know what does. Oh, come on. Oh, 
Hello, may I help? Do you sell any Mondstadt specialties? You're looking to buy some wine? Hmm, you seem underage to me. It's for a friend. Oh, it's for a friend, is it? So you'll take it back to your friend, and then your friend will kindly invite you to share a drink with them, is that right? You can forget about purchasing alcohol, but if you were generally here to purchase a Mondstadt specialty, we do have another beverage that might suit your requirements. Except the only thing is some of the ingredients that it's mixed with haven't arrived yet. They definitely should have arrived by now. I hope nothing's happened. Perhaps you could go check up on the delivery? Ah, uh, sure. Much obliged. Don't worry. Whatever happens, I will try to find some way of making a Mondstadt specialty beverage for you. The chest! But yeah, I think the polish does a lot for this game. Or does a lot to make it uh, last. Because if you're playing a game every day and it has bugs, you certainly get to hate them. What's the situation? The cart is wrecked. It was all you managed to salvage, was it? Never mind. I'll raise it with Master D. Luke next time he's here. These monster attacks are going to impact business at the tavern if they continue much longer. Here's what I managed to salvage. Ah, oh, thanks. It's a shame, you know. This was my first time ordering these particular ingredients. I had planned on experimenting around with some new cocktails. Alright, now to make you a monster special. Let's see what we have here. Okay. Should be able to work with these. One moment. Okay, so the base is apple vinegar. Then we add some dandelion, mint, and berries for flavor. Best served, ice cold. After a glass of this, simply breathe in and you will acutely feel the signature winds of Mondstadt on the insides of your cheeks and at the back of your throat. Let me bottle that for you, otherwise it will quickly lose its flavor. Don't forget, it's best served chilled. I thought that's a problem in Schneznaya.
Ah, uh, back from your intrepid adventure, I see. So what did you manage to find? <clears throat> What's this, a bookmark? Mm, it'll do, I suppose. It works as an ornament. I knew I'd pick the right person for the job. Okay, now's the time to ask any burning questions you have. Are you leaving soon? Me? I mean, I'd sure like to. Once that bored me to tears and I have had a grand total of zero assignments to occupy me my whole time here. I spend all my days sat here with the sisters glaring at me every two seconds as if I've just committed some sort of grave sin and they are livid with me about it. Meanwhile, the delegation staying at the Goth Grand Hotel are in some sort of lockdown, so I don't hear so much as a peep from the inside. If you ask me, they should call us back home pronto. If Signora's business here is done, the monsters are the spiders, so we're only looking for trouble by staying here. But I haven't had a word from my superior, so I don't know what to think. Well, Signora's dead. Any other local specialties for me, or is that the lot? Food, but tried for ease of transport, not bad. Oh, I'll bet it doesn't taste great, though. Still counts as a Monsad specialty, though. Huh? Yes, I'll definitely find someone back home to give this to. Nice job, you're alright at this. Okay, now's the time to ask any burning questions you have. Tell me about Signora. I might have guessed you'd ask about her, but I'm afraid I don't know much, and in fact, I have my own questions. My superior sent me to Mondstadt to work for Signora, but I haven't received a single assignment from her since I arrived. I heard through the grapevine that she didn't stick around long after she arrived and that she was in a particularly good mood when she left. So I don't get it. Is her business here finished? And if so, does that mean I get to go home yet, or what? My daily routine consists of me standing here being glared at by the sisters in the night. It's really starting to give me the creeps. Mm, gives a specialty beverage. Hey, check it out! Looks good in the bottle, but let me see how it tastes. They're supposed to cool it first. Really? In that case, I'll wait till I get back home. Much easier to get hold of ice cubes back home. I said it before and I'll say it again. We, Fatui, always deliver on our promises. You help me out and you will not go unrewarded. So ask away, whatever burning questions you have. What do you know about the other Arbringers? The Arbingers, they're way above my level. I'm lucky if I hear the odd rumor. For what it's worth, I can pass on what others have told me, but I advise you to take it with a pinch of salt. I hear Arbinger number 6, also known as Scaramouche, is difficult to get along with. A lot of people are not fans of his. Why? Some say he just has a disagreeable personality. Others say it's because he doesn't know when to keep his mouth shut. I know someone who works closely with the guy. He says Scaramouche is even disliked by several of his fellow Harbingers. But I mean, like him or not, he's still a Harbinger. He's doing an awful lot better than a rank-and-file member of the Fatu like me. Any other local specialties for me, is, or is that a lot? That's all. Alright, good. In fact, because I don't have anything else I can share with you without getting both of us in trouble. Unless you have any other business, you'd better leave me alone now. I need to be available in case something suddenly comes up that needs my attention. Oh, when will I get to head home? Wait, I didn't want to go here. Oh no... Exploration was pretty good. In Inazuma, but not really in 
one's dead. You too. Fifty do. Okay. This is all... This is all Chasm? It is. Oh, okay. Well, then I'm not doing it. I've done it on my main account. Okay. Finally. Where do I start this? Can't do it yet. The three great martial trials. Oh, okay. No, I'm I'm actually already doing that. Hmm. 
There's still a bunch of stuff. I guess I'll take care of all this tomorrow. One of these is an actual quest, though. Surprised I haven't seen it pop up. I don't know where it starts. It starts over there. There it is. doing in a place like this at a moment like this you really are an unlucky one aren't you you came here to enjoy the view of the sakura now is categorically not the time so please don't get your hopes up we used to have a lot of visitors coming here for the sakura but no one wants to come here these days not with all the fighting going on i didn't come for the thunder sakura oh so you just happen to be passing through in that case i'd better warn you the Thunder Sakura have been damaged. I went to inspect them earlier and something about them just didn't seem right. Don't get too close to the Thunder Sakura. It could be dangerous. Please be careful. What's the big deal with the Thunder Sakura? You don't know the first thing about them, do you? Small wonder, I suppose, since you're not from the shrine. You've probably seen the sacred Sakura at the Grand Narukami Shrine. It's a symbol of the Great Narukami's power. The Great Narukami is eternal, just as the Sacred Sakura will always be in full bloom. Beyond the shrine <clears throat> in Kanazuka, you will find Thunder Sakura. They share a common origin with the Sacred Sakura and possess a similar power too. Recently, however, the Thunder Sakura have been damaged and they are not producing blossoms. It cannot be a good sign. It alarmed Lady Miko enough that she sent me to Kanazuka to investigate. So far, I have discovered a group of treasure hoarders who keep showing up near the Thunder Sakura. They seem very suspicious to me, and I must find out what their connection is to all of this. I, however... Well, to put it bluntly, I'd be hopeless in a fight, and these treasure hoarders look particularly fierce. Traveler, I'd like to ask you to investigate their camp and find out what they're up to. I initially thought that I'd be more than capable of handling the investigation on my own, but now, it's less straightforward than I imagined, so all I can do is ask for your help. Thank you, Traveler. You're welcome. I will do it tomorrow. Today, we're done. It's been seven hours. So I'm out. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for hanging out. Thank you for watching. And I will see you tomorrow for the last day of uh, the alt account it's a bittersweet have a good night